Time flies. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you, Bluesy, for the eight months of uh, support. Appreciate that, man. Also, just being for just for being a genuinely awesome person, too. Appreciate that, too. How are we doing today? No neck. Hi, welcome. How are we doing today? I got my water right here with. I ate. I ate an omelet this morning. If anyone asks, it was the best omelet in the world because my wife made it, so naturally. And I have to say that though, don't I? Is it is that one of those things where I have to say that? She makes the best omelets. Copper Spikes, welcome. Evo, how you doing? Issue, how you doing? Still that throwback to Napster. Love it. Ah oh, man, today we begin our journey of world domination, okay? If you didn't know, we're about to dominate the world. If you didn't know. You've been, you've been waiting for it. Good, good, good. What type of omelet uh, with eggs? I had eggs. Uh, it, it, uh, it had bacon in it and, uh, and sausage and, uh, I had some hot sauce around it as well. Uh, jalapeno peppers was in it as well. Yeah. Little tiny pieces of ham, real micro. It's like, just like an afterthought, almost like a garnish of ham. I'm not really a big ham person, but in moderation, it can, it can add something valuable to the meal. And then, of course, hater tots with it, All right? P. Diddy, hello, welcome. The Watcher. Cool emotes, where'd you get them? Uh, thanks for the support, Watcher, appreciate that. Aaron, welcome. Copper Spikes, you're, you're tired but good? I'm not tired today, uh, at least not yet. I probably will be by the end of the day, though, because I got a party to go to tonight. So for the next four hours, we're gonna proceed towards world domination, um, but it's it, after four hours. I gotta go. It's time is limited. Yeah. Hi, General. How you doing, Lars? Welcome, David. Hello. I love to say all these green names in chat. I love I love you guys. Thank you so much, Zach Morris. Hello. I think I said hi to everybody now. Brian, Casper. Hello there, Krios. Hey, dude. Got your software corp off the ground. Congratulations. You know, getting a successful and profitable company in this game is not the easiest thing in the world. It's not. Uh, right at the very beginning, it, it, can, it can get you. You have to kind of tiptoe around it. You don't want to go too quick. right? Don't try to do everything at once. Be good at one thing and then spread out. Uh, I kind of did that with antivirus, but... I got I got sort of lucky-ish with the antivirus thing, but normally I start with 2D editors because I just think you can make more money on them than an antivirus. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know. 
I've been trying a food box and it's amazing. I had caramelized onion burger. Okay, you had me until you said caramelized onion. Just, just gonna put my finger over that. All right, you had a caramelized burger. Oh, good. Oh, cool. Schizo Jedi, good to see you too. Hello, how are you today? Dan, oh, it's always cool to see Dan in chat. How you doing, Dan? Uh, you guys, thank you so much for coming out on this hopefully beautiful Saturday for you, hopefully. We, uh, in the last stream, just a quick recap. You know, not everybody can watch them all, I understand. Quick recap, uh, we added some floors over here, right? Um, we expanded our shipping a little bit, I think, in the last video. I think we played around with this a little bit. Also, somebody told me in the, in the comments a way to see how much I've spent on this building, rather how much it costs. Uh, somebody mentioned it to me. You can do building blueprints. And um, I think if you... If I was to save the selected room, I, I don't remember how, how he said it, actually. I'm, I'm like going off my memory saying, he told me how. It's on the right side. And then it, yeah. Um, but I think if I save the selected room, um, my blueprint, uh, I think on the right side, it'll tell me. So the building cost is 2.4 million. The furniture cost inside is 14 million. So... That tells you how much that building cost. It's expensive. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, because we, we were playing around with it before, right? We were saying, oh man, I don't know how much this costs. This is at least 5 million. Oh yeah, it's like triple that, I guess. Cool. Ah. Uh, Nikhail, hi. I, I probably said your name terribly, sorry. Nikhail, Nikhail. Welcome. Glad you liked the vids, appreciate it. Uh, and then mostly in the last video, right, we got really close. We're very close to getting our operating system launched. I've now, since the last stream, I've now moved up the date. We are no longer waiting until, I think it was May 97, something in June 97. Not waiting that long. We've moved up the date. It's now December 96. That's in two more months. Because I'm satisfied with the number of bugs that we've fixed. And we'd like to get it out to the world. So world domination is going to happen soon. Hopefully we get this... Uh, hopefully we get this done. Let's see. If I put all the suits on this... I think they can probably... Make the Char OS marketing come to life. Okay. We got marketing happening down here. We got some porting happening from various different uh, softwares and stuff. We got Real Engine and... Cool Man Fight both getting ported to newer, more popular operating systems. And then we've got three games in design phase. So we are cranking out the games. And it's going to get to the point now where each of these teams, right, we have basically an RTS team, a simulation team, a first-person shooter team, an RPG team. Um, we're going to be having one game in the design and one game in development all the time. So as design graduates their designs, the development is done, we release, that design gets passed off to development, and then they get a new design. So everyone just stays busy all the time with the bug fixes, hopefully being our dedicated bug team and support teams and stuff. So I think it's a good workflow if we can figure out that balance and get it to work. I think it'll be a good workflow. Uh, Alter Ego, thank you so much for joining the Hat Hut. I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. Uh, and then we have this big building here. This uh, circular building, which I have now expanded on. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five floors. Yeah, five floors now. This will probably get taller. Um, this is our research. This is going to be our research and development center. And a uh, research center. And what they're gonna, what we're going to do here is this big, this big circular area here is going to be like this big lobby. This big unassuming lobby. Empty space. Nothing's built on the ground floor very ominous people walk in and they're just like there's nothing going on here and that's fine uh they go downstairs cool there's uh nothing here yet but i might have some stuff down here eventually um and then they can go upstairs and so all the research stuff will be on all of the floors going up and uh that's that's what we're going to do here i've got all of the uh utilities and stuff done here lights and stuff are in here already uh, everything is is set up with uh 
cooling and all that. And because I've connected the basements, this is a cool thing. Because I've connected the basements, uh, all the utilities for heating and everything is all connected. I need a maintenance guy to come out to my solar panels. Really? He's already here. Well, he is on the case, man. Holy cow, is he quick. Good stuff, sir. I have great staff. Look at all of this happening. These are people who are walking from the parking lot over to here. Like when they're criminals and when there's police. They're destroying the grass. I can't stop that one unless I buy that land. <sighs> Chicken raid. Hey, Clint. What's going on, dude? Happy to have you. Happy to see you. Your research and development nuclear silo. Yeah. Uh, this is the... We, we named this building the Joystick. If you didn't see the last stream yet, um, eventually our campus, if we zoom out, the campus will take the shape of our controller that we're going to have. At least somewhat. I'm trying to get it close. So we've got our... We've got two buttons here. We'll have two additional smaller buildings here and here. Uh, then we've got the Joystick and the D-pad. And this is like our little gaming controller. Uh... That we're gonna our, our, our campus is kind of set up for. I can also expand to the other buildings, but I don't think we'll. Be... had sprinklers in this building, didn't I? Didn't I have sprinklers everywhere in here? I mean, I passed the fire inspection, right? I mean, we had sprinklers. Oh boy. Okay. Well, Not enough. Not enough. This is this is uh okay. World domination. That's what we said. World world domination. Yeah. Okay. Well, not everything got busted. You know? It's uh Well, Okay. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll address this. This is not the end of the world. The, uh, not the end of the world. We'll, just, we will rebuild it, right? We can, we can do that, right? We can just rebuild things. Front room needs to be repaired first, okay? Repair all rooms and restore all furniture for $7.5 million. Okay. Sprinkler here. And that's about it. <laughs> that's the only one. Now, oh, well, well, hang on. There are two here. There are two sprinklers. And by two, what I really mean is there are a lot of sprinklers. A lot. There are so many. I can't even count them all. Look at how many there are. Look at how many sprinklers we have now. This is what's called adapting to changing conditions. <laughs> mm hmm. Beep. 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 Uh huh. We're just gonna. Just a few. You know, just a couple. You know, a little bit of redundancy. No big deal. 
It's all good. Yeah. I think that pretty much covers the room now. You know, we just, uh, maybe between the... Uh, you just, you know, just stick them in here anywhere at this point. I don't really care. As long as they're, you know, in here. Okay. Okay. So we maybe spent seven and a half million dollars just now. You know? And I maybe have some equipment that's not doing well. And I have maintenance stuff, by the way. I just don't think I have enough. <laughs> uh, I've got one... Yeah, I think I have four. Four maintenance people. They come in at 12 to 4, 6 to 10, 2 to 6, and 3 to 7. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Great. Uh, we'll call maintenance now, and then we'll hire two more. What do you think? Hire two more maintenance? I think we hire two more maintenance people. Let's have you come in at 8. Uh, and then, then this guy will come in at, uh, say, 11. I don't know. Go. Uh, staff will leave when they have nothing to do instead of when their shift is over. Mm, eh, pretty sure I pay you per month, so you'll stay. Okay. So that happened. Uh, on, on the other news, um, that's not so hot. Um, Edward Scissorclaws, the update, bringing, this, bringing it up to date, fixing all the bugs. It's done. Much more popular software now. It's done. We fixed every bug in the old ESC. All right. Now we have a Havana Knights, Cool Man Fight 2, Pancaked, and uh, Charlie Space Program all being developed. <laughs> no fire insurance? No, because it's too expensive. And I know what you're going to say, but you just spent $7.5 million to fix a fire. Yeah, I know. Uh, insurance is still more expensive. <laughs> That's how bad insurance is. Um, if I was to go to insurance to insure my property for 100%, it would cost me 1.8 million per month. Per month. So I've had one fire the entire time I've been a business. That's that one. Um, as you can see, we have plenty of things to fix. Maintenance people. Let's make sure we're really good here. I'm going to hire another one to get in here. So, once they fix them all, right? I think we're fine. Yeah. These two are broken down. No big deal. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and release the marketing for Char OS. Boom. Hopefully, we get some followers now. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start printing Char OS, actually. We don't have any in stock, although we have started printing. Oh, we have. Yeah, yeah, we, we've already started printing, but we don't have a goal. So probably should put a limit on this, right? Let's have 150,000 copies. Okay. We'll get them. We'll get them going. Um, Char OS. We'll go ahead and also put out the press build. It's it's pretty bug free. 889 bugs have been fixed. It's pretty good. I've I've def definitely taken my time with it. And uh, yeah, it's great. I would love to be the team leader of Charcraft if you're still getting folks in the game. Um, get your name in on our Discord server. You can put it in the Software Inc. channel. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll do that anyway, but I'm going to write it right here. Alter, alter ego. I'll let you break the rules because you're a green name. How's that? Alter ego, uh, charcraft team. Wants to be on the charcraft team. Okay. All right. We'll see what we can do. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. The Tesla building. Dude, this thing is enormous. This is our... It, we're not really making... It I means kind of like a, our own little Giga Factory, right? It's just really big. You know? I need a second floor on this, too. I need a second floor. If I went like this... And then I said... Bop.
and went like that. Huh? And then like that. And then like that, 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 that. <laughs> so this monstro manufacturing monstrosity that's way, way higher priced than it needed to be. Yeah. Nothing like a casual 10 million on a building expansion that we don't need. Okay, let's close all these notices. Night suits aren't happy with... I don't know. Maybe they should start working in the room I gave them. Pretty sure that's this one. This is marketing team. Down. It's this one then. Night suits, night suits should be working here. But they are not. That's why. I must have deselected it. Not sure. It's alright. We can get them in a different room anyway. Sooner or later. Okay, we have an announcement for Char OS. And again. Yep, it's cutting edge. Press release has some cool videos in it. Got our full attention. Um, yep, yep, all the things. And then I'll, they'll hopefully get... Uh, the press copy came out two months before we... Come on now. Only 72 followers. We got to do some better marketing than this. No, we could probably just hype it. Um, just because it's so close to release anyway, so it's fine. Ooh, we ran out of copies here. ESC and Coleman Fighter out of copies. Let's put these things in order of how many they have in stock. All right, so we have a ton in storage. It just needs delivered, right? It's not being shipped out fast enough. Today. Yeah, helicopters will take it and then it won't be a problem anymore. Cool man fight. Uh, we could put them in alphabetical order, maybe, I guess. Yeah, we got a bunch in stock now, we should be fine. All right, cool. Can you name buildings? Uh, no. I don't believe we can name buildings. Um, I mean, we can, but I, get, I don't think I can place it in the game with a label, like with a name. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, Real Engine. So they're currently designing Real Engine 2, you can see. Copper Spikes doing his thing. Currently working on that. Now, Copper Spikes is the team leader. But he's not the lead designer of this anymore. We're giving that to somebody else that has a bit more potential. Just a little bit more. We'll see. All right. So I'm thinking, see who we need to educate first. Running Rabbit needs some education. Let's go video. Let's go video. I thought you call it the Char and D building. Okay. This is our Char and D. Wow. Speaking of Char and D, why don't we uh, get some things going on here? Now, somebody told me that I could. I think somebody said that I could alter the time of day while I'm while I'm building. Is that a thing? You guys know what I'm, what I'm talking about? Like, is there a way to make it brighter while I'm building? Oh, is it right here? Maybe it's right here. Ah, there it goes. Yeah, you just alter the time of day. Cool. So, uh, it's behind me. That's, that's why you can't see it. <laughs> so, this, I think this first floor is blank. So it'll be the second floor. And what we'll do is I'm gonna have basically this arrangement minus the sprinklers. And we're just gonna have
Probably just like this, I guess. So this is like our research center kind of thing, right? And I need to get it away from the light, though. Hmm. We need this many chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Probably don't need this many, right? I think this is probably more than we need. Let's move these to the upper floor instead. Yeah, this is probably better. Um, and then we can take, say, these middle ones. Yeah, something like this could be good. Yeah. And then they all have their own privacy and stuff, and they don't have to, like, worry about the noise that way. I could also reduce noise. Yeah, I sort of. I could also reduce noise by putting in these acoustic diamond panels. Sort of sticking these around the place, you know. Yeah, just in random spots. They don't have to be precise. That'll help them with their noise. Somehow, I don't really know how that's going to help, but okay. It's not really how acoustic foam works, but sure. I guess if the room is really echoey, it will help, but it's not really going to help them with like if they're surrounded by computers. Oh, well, we'll just put it up, up in all these rooms. Kind of randomly placed here. pretty much all the floors for that cool what's today's plan i want to finish r d we are releasing our operating system and i'm gonna get i want to say at least hmm now the, the question i mostly have here i think is let me just stop this music really quick here okay I got, uh, got something with going on with my own computer over here. Um, I'd like to get Charlie Space Program, Cool Man Fight 2, and Havana Nights released. Probably won't have all of those released today, but Havana Nights maybe, because we might be able to get that done fast enough. Um, I'm going to go through the review process with Flatnoid 3. And uh, yeah, like I said, Char OS is getting released, so... Right now, it doesn't have very many followers, but that's going to change over time, too. And we'll do another print job because we can. Because we can. Exorcist. Is this a movie? It's flare reality, but it doesn't actually tell me what it is. I think it's a movie. I'm also pretty sure we can handle it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I want to get research and development going today, and that's going to be a very big expense. But the hope is that it pays for itself by us having essentially all of... Hang on, let's change this to research. Yeah. Research is there now. It is no longer here. This is not the research team anymore. We're going to repurpose this room for additional operating system staff. Make it like a viewing platform. Make what a viewing platform? This? Like our joystick? Go all the way up to the very top? I think the joystick is going to go as high as it can go. So it'll be like our, it'll be our tallest structure. Right? Because that's the way it is on a, on a controller. The joystick is, the joysticks are the tallest structure if you were to lay it flat. 
I want to thank you, Charlie. I recently spent a week in the hospital. You were my primary source of entertainment. Your long stream VODs helped me to get through a difficult time. Thank you for all that you do. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And and you're welcome. <laughs> that's great. I hope uh, I hope everything that was you know going on in the hospital and everything. I hope that's been uh, hope that's resolved. Okay. I don't want to like smile when you know somebody says they were watching me from the hospital because there's like you know it's from a hospital. It's not exactly a place that people want to be. I guess unless you're really. Unless you're a nurse or a doctor and just love your job, then you probably are just like, you know, oh yeah, I get to go back to the hospital. I just imagine though that nurses and doctors, I'm not one of course, but I imagine that job is, I bet that job is just not fun. But when you come out of work, it's okay. I think it's one of those jobs where you kind of hate being at work um until you have that that patient right that one that um you know that thanks you or you have that patient that you 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 saved their life you, there's this person who's alive today because of you that then all of a sudden you get this big high off of it uh probably a temporary but then you're right back into the the mess of it and then you're right back into the stress of it and then it's like Gosh, can I just go home? Oh, I'm glad it's uh, I'm glad it's taken care of. Life threatening infection. Whew. Okay, I'm glad it's taken care of. Yeah, definitely. Marketing two is not happy. Why though? Why though? This is your room. You work here. This is your place. No one else works in this room. Aside from you, here, I'll even make sure that no one except service people are allowed in here. And you know what? No one except service people are allowed on this floor. Does that make you happier? Work here. That's why I made the room. You keep coming over here and doing things, and that ain't what we want, okay? These are night suits. They got nothing to do? Maybe I should give the night suits a marketing deal. Although, again, they're supposed to be filing patents as we research things, right? And we're going to get more than one research team. So the suits should always be doing something. Um, so that's what I want to set up today. I want to get that going today. So I'm going to say that we select uh, all of the furniture in the room that matches this. And then we deselect this because we don't need those. Because it's just going to get in the way. Right? I can't I can't tell what's happening here. It's too dark. I'm going to going to lose my cool. Oh, it's these little things. You know what? This is way easier. Take this. Make sure you select all of it and delete. And welcome back. Way easier. All right, so all these floors will be designed pretty much the same way. Let's get a top-down look at this. Want a top-down look? Thank you. All right, so we just go all the furniture and duplicate. And then go up one floor. Good. Good. That works for me. Then we select the floor. And clone it. And go up. There we go. Now it is the tallest, the tallest building in our place. The big giant tube. 
or research facilities. Now you might be thinking, well, what about on the roof? Don't you want solar panels? Nope, I want it to be nice and clean, like the joystick, right? These are buttons, these are buttons. They got texture on them, right? That joystick, nope, nope. All right, and then we will have a research team in each one of these, in each one of these rooms, we will have a research team. It's all done, all the utilities, the sprinkler systems, everything. The only thing missing now are the stairs, which I can fix. Just gonna make it daytime again real quick. Uh, I can fix that by going like this. You there, ogre. All right, what the hell? What? All right, the floor above, obviously. That's also how it works. It's stairs. <laughs> okay. I'm done making fun of myself now. Good. Should've put the stairs in before the acoustic panels. That's the top floor, okay. Excellent. Please review, you're making a joystick. Yes, it's a joystick. See, look. You see our campus? It's, in the, it's gonna be in the shape of our controller. Our gaming console controller for the future. All right, good. So this is our research center. And of course there's no windows because our lab rats don't need to know what time it is, okay? No windows, just a solid, solid structure. Absolutely no clue to the outside world. Very intimidating. The people who work in these offices, they were like, oh good, we have windows. We could see the outside. And then now they look outside and it's just this. <laughs> no, no windows. We don't, let, we don't want them to know what time it is. Although, on the I could maybe see doing them on the bottom because the the bottom isn't going to have any desks. Um, in fact, I think I want to make this. Well, it's it's supposed to be like that. You know, you ever seen on a movie how they go into I don't know one of these ominous sort of labs, if you will, and it's just this big open blank room. And it's just there's like nothing in it and then they walk through the door and then there's stuff i don't know if you if you know what i'm talking about um but that's what i was thinking this bottom piece is it's just a whole lot of nothing and then they get in the elevators and then up top is where all the work happens right up through here yeah not even any clocks to intimidate people to work harder that's right no clocks either they just they don't know what time it is right they just slave away the computers, we all have amended operating systems, so there's no clock in the corner. They just have to guess, right? They're smart people, they'll figure it out. You know, of all the 24 people that work on each floor, one of them is tasked with just going one, two, three, four, five, six, to keep track of time, right? One of them, they elect that person and they, they, take, they take turns trying to figure it out. Okay, so this is going to be research one. We're going to change the name of that team. We're about to have a whole lot of expenses and that's okay though, because we're making 15 million a day. I can afford it. We're making even more if our research teams are bigger. So uh, we're going to start with, I think I'm going to go after, I might go after 3D next. 2D makes more sense though, right? Yeah, 96, we're not gonna get that. So we're gonna start 97. That's that's why I'm doing it now, it's December. So as soon as it goes to January, we're gonna start researching 97 everything right at the, right at the start of the year. Get the earliest possible start on all of it. And then we'll just capture it and start 98, capture it, start 99, etc. And I like that. Can we call Animal Shelter Game to get an office pet? Dude, 
I, I think Animal Shelter, what it really needs to have that, because like right now it's the early and mid game is kind of like, okay, but the mid game, it gets really hectic. There's so many animals. If you want to extend it even further, make that game a bigger deal, you need to be able to hire help. I think getting employees and, and being able to manage at least a couple of people to help you makes a good thing. Um, I want to say also like an in-house vet. I also think to make the game more complicated, because I, I do think it's a little easy. I know I just said it's hectic, but it's also fairly simple and easy. Um, there's no like rent payments. There's no utilities. There's no, there's like nothing to pay for, right? So if you're not going to implement those things, if I can hire staff, then at least I have to pay them. So there's a, a motivation to, to get animals out the door, right? It's, I think there's like some, some more depth to the game. Be good. Got Edward Scissor Claws roaming around outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he would be dangerous. He's our mascot. He wanders around outside all the time. You're losing sales. Think bigger picture, Jordy. Bigger picture. I'm losing sales because why? Why do you why do you suppose it tells me I'm losing sales? Because I'm out of stock. So one thing Software Incorporated could do better. I think a good improvement for the game would be to have ongoing sales because right now you sell all of your all of your sales come at the very end of the day or very end of the month right so like i could have a hundred thousand i will have a hundred thousand in stock and then at the end of the month they wanted to buy one hundred and twenty thousand. so it tells me i'm losing sales they're printing. It just, just wasn't picked up. It's not a big deal. It's all going to work itself out. I'm printing every single one of those in mass. It's just the timing thing where the sales all happen in bulk instead of happening throughout the day as I'm printing them. I wish they would happen throughout the day as I'm printing them. All right. So the research team is going to come in right at on January. So no wasted time. So let's take a look. We're going to say... Designer. Uh, we are looking for designers. Level three. We want a new team. So it's going to be research two. Yeah. Research two. And uh, we won't filter by that yet. Specialization. I think we can conquer 2D. Pretty much everything needs 2D. Right? I mean... Is there any software that doesn't need 2D for anything? Something that's like purely 3D always, no 2D interfaces at all? I don't know. I mean, there might be some niche there, but uh, I don't know. Maybe when you get into like movies and stuff, then you just need video and not even that. Like even a video editor needs 2D stuff. So I think, meh. So I think we're going to go with uh, that. We'll say 2D specialization, go. All right, so just looking for basically anyone. Having double double dipping here is, is a pretty cool thing. I can move people around as needed. So this guy's like 2D and, and audio, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to start with this guy. Oh, I put him on core. Damn it. Uh, where is the core team? You. You're going to go to is uh research two apparently i need to name that to where it's not a big bold name research two okay now i want a bunch of designers for 2d that are compatible with you research two okay so good good great great awesome so we'll take every single one of you boom 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 Right, and then I, I want it again. Hire employees uh, again, 2D, go. Really? I have to wait till t next week, but I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, tell you what, how about no specialization? Really, okay. We'll try medium then with a specialization in 2D and we'll see if any of them do tick the box. Okay, good. So some of them will. Uh, so we need good. So we'll say you. We'll say not three. Need to be three stars. So good. Uh, yep, good. 
Uh, good. You are three stars as well. Excellent. Uh -huh, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, 14. 14 is good for now. All right, so this is going to be research one. Kind of re kind of juggling the research teams really quick here. So research, uh, rename. Here he is. Research two. No, that's 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 fine. I want research one right here. Change you to research one. Okay, so you're going to be research one. Just making sure. Good. And uh, we could have a pass through as well. So let's make sure we switch teams because they have to walk up, to, up and down the stairs too, right? So there needs to be some sort of pass through. I suppose I could make this a separate room. I could make the stairs a separate room, then I wouldn't need to pass through, but I don't think that's, that's a big deal. Yeah, we'll, we'll mark this as pass through. Uh, and then this one pass through is going to be research two. Yep. And then up here, we're going to have another team. And we're going to call this three and we'll say it's 3D. I don't think anybody is really doing a whole lot of 3D yet, but uh, we could also maybe try to grab network. But I think 3D works best for three, three on 3D. So uh, just, just to have it. So research three. All right. And then we'll try to find some new designers. Hi. Research three. Doesn't matter. Uh, specialization 3D. Go. All right. So really bad with research two, and that's okay. Um, I don't. I don't know if that's. I don't know if it's good to have them not compatible with other places, but. But you don't have any specialization in 3D at all. Did I do the wrong thing? No, I said 3D. I guess there aren't any. You know, eh. maybe we'll start the other ones in February. I need more, I need more candidates, you know? It's snow in April. That happens. That happens. Are you considering adding any mods to the game? I already have three active. Um, went, went over them quite a few times already. Um, I can't add any more. Software Incorporated doesn't let you add any more once you start a save file. So if I want to add any additional mods, I, I believe anyway, unless it's unless it's like object stuff, I think maybe I can add those. But like the overhaul stuff that I have, I can't add anymore. Um, I have to start a new save to do that. All right, so those guys come back, come into work on 97. So I have some time until they until they get here. Are you guys picking up the boxes? Good. Go take them away. Helicopters should do it too. All right. So Epic DLC is the only one that's still losing. Do I not have a print contract for that one? Add-ons, Epic DLC. Doesn't have any in stock or storage. Interesting, so I don't think I'm actually printing this one. Yeah, Epic DLC is not on the list. Okay, I haven't been printing this one then. So uh, I probably had like an initial run and then I didn't print anymore. So let's say we keep ourselves at 60,000 on this just because. Holy shit. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes. I already have 60,000 copies. That was fast. Where's my easy button? <laughs> that was easy. All right, Char OS. We fixed over a thousand bugs. Release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. The top one was always going to be bad because we're not known for it. That's oh, that's all that criteria is. So it's good. Uh, ambitious idea by Mordecai Silvermoon, and it isn't that buggy. It isn't that buggy.
fixed a thousand bugs. Uh, we can tell a lot of work went into this, and Mordecai Silvermoon's brilliance shines through. That guy's gonna ask for a raise. Damn. <laughs> um, not gonna bother ordering copies. We're gonna have an unlimited marketing budget for this. Absolutely unlimited marketing budget for this. For quite a while, we'll just let that go. Uh, of course, have our support teams doing their thing. And I think we get going right away on, uh, you know, I'm going to give them a month break. They've, uh, they've earned it. The operating system team, man, they have earned it. Actually, you should probably make sure they are not on crunch time. Yeah, they're not. It's fine. Uh, 96. Is anybody researching that? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I'd like to put them all on crunch. Research teams should be on like permanent crunch, right? You know, way, in, way up into the joystick. Yeah, two research teams, two badass research teams. Uh, we have a we have a network there going on too, and then. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, multitasking, hold meetings, automation. Handle hiring. Improve effectiveness with any tasks. Good. Good leadership skills. We'd love to see it. Does this team not have a leader? It doesn't. It doesn't have a leader. You're the leader now. Do your thing. Yeah, you're gonna be a leader now. Uh, research two. You're pretty good. Millard, congratulations. You're the leader of this team. Let's go ahead and get the HR stuff handled with the research teams. Neither one of them have HR stuff. So a we're gonna do HR management. We'll give you a 250,000 budget because you're a research, you're gonna be expensive. Uh, handle wages, handle complaints. Yep. Let's do the education level thing. Maximum of two people at a time. I'll let, I don't really care for the hiring thing, but I guess if we were going to do hiring, we would want, you'd need three stars, but I would need people to have really high traits and things, right? And then I could have them add to their own team up to a certain number of employees, which would be kind of cool. So I'll pro I probably will let the research team handle that themselves. Boom, boom. Um, no, I want education level three, don't I? Not two. Because I want them to get to where they're actually useful for research purposes. So I need this to be three. Okay, good. All right, they all have their own HR department stuff now. You have a hundred million. I'm sure that you can give them a raise. <laughs> No, no, okay, that's not how business works. The amount of money I'm making has nothing to do with what I pay him, okay? I offer competitive salary, all right? Competitive. If he can find someone to pay him more, then he can bring it up to my attention and then we'll talk. This is bonkers. What is this? What, what happened here? I had a door here and now... And now I do not have a door here. What happened to my door? What's happened to my door? You know what? It's no wonder that people are working in offices they shouldn't work in. Ah, <sighs> here it is. We knew it was coming. Mordecai Silvermoon requests a raise. Non-binding contract or exclusive lead? Like I said, if someone else is willing to pay you more, sure. I'll even bump it up a little bit. Non-binding contract. There you go. You find someone else, so be it. The door has been stolen. Oh, something happened. I don't know what it was, but something happened. We got lots of sprinklers in here now. There will be no fire problems now. So many sprinklers. Put even more in here. Boom. Boom. Huh? Anyone? Any more sprinklers? Huh? Huh? 
Huh? Any more sprinklers over here? How, how about over here? Huh? How about right here? Anyone want some more? Huh? 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 How about right here? Yeah. Try to light my building on fire now. You jackass. Fire inspector doesn't know what he's talking about. All right. So I think Char OS, we're going to get an update going. Obviously, the update team is going to handle this. Uh, so let's have the OS will be responsible for its own stuff for the time being as far as updating it. Centurion, we're going to get all the hardware. We're going to get all the stuff upgraded to its topmost level. Okay. Everything is getting completely up to date. System. Yep. It's going to take two years to do this. Really? Two years for the update. So this stuff is way behind then. I might as well spend the time on the next iteration. Plus fixing the bugs. Recommended programmers, seven. I've got 18. What you gonna do about it? Maybe we do it incrementally. Like we, d we don't bother with the 3D or the video. Or the network there. So maybe the network thing. If I take that down, okay. About a year. That's a little bit better. We can we can do incremental updates instead. Yeah, but we'll bring these two up because we're gonna do system and 2D both. And we're gonna have patents on that stuff, so I want to bring that up. It's also because it's so many years behind. It's like you have to. Yeah, I think this is okay though. So OS is gonna start an update, which is gonna fix the bugs, as well as update the the software. And then what I'm going to also have done is that all of our games, uh, let's say ESC, Flatnoid, Real Engine, Cool Man Fight, all of this stuff needs to be ported over to the new operating system. So part to Char OS, uh, Real Engine, we're going to have you ported to Char OS, and Flatnoid 2, port it to. Wait, no. Port. Yeah. Okay, sure. Devs, yeah. Port to Char OS. Mm hmm. And ESC, we'll port that to uh, Char OS as well. Okay, good. So, and at the original Edgewood Scissor Clause? Eh. We could also get Desk Synthesizer plugin. Oh, what's this? Oh, like a, a new kit. I don't even know if I'm selling very much on this. Sold 213,000 copies. It's not bad. We can get that ported to. Why not? Ported to Char OS. Uh, okay, so dev team's got a lot to do. So many things being ported. Crazy a month. So much porting happening. It's fine. Uh, we're going to make sure that. Yeah, like this. Okay, so Cool Man, Real Engine, Flatnoid, ESC, and Desperation all being ported. Cool? Cool. Uh, support team is working on finding the bugs and providing support. That's what they're supposed to do. And Flatnoid's being developed by Dev2. We should probably get a different team on this. Actually, tell you what, why don't we try this? Why don't we say that Dev2 is not, is not on the porting team? That way they can get that done. Dev2 does not port. There. Okay, now they can keep going on what they're doing. Okay, good. Uh, next thing then, we've got our two research teams coming in. Let's see if we can get a third. So I'd like to get uh, designers for 3D, yep. And can we make it compatible with Research 3? There's nobody in that team yet, okay. Let's hire it then. So research, high, 3D speciality, and we're gonna get probably you first. You have a lot of skills. You have system skills too. That's fine. Go there. Oh. 
Oh, see? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass. Fixed rate. No. No, no. Oh, man. Oh, one. All right, now everybody's kind of like wigging out. So we need like a new team for this or something. I guess we could put the good ones in. Good. I don't want to pay them that fixed rate crap. I guess, a f okay, so if it's only fixed rate, that's not that bad, but I'm not doing like luxury cars and all that stuff for just my research people, but I'm kind of okay with the fixed rate on these guys, regardless of actual hours. I don't know. I don't know. Good. Uh, good. And then we'll go ahead and do another search. Medium. Same thing, but this time specialty is research three. Okay. So we can do this guy. This one. This one. All these guys I'm hiring right now are people who break their computers. <laughs> It'll be fine, I'm sure. No problem. Uh-huh, good. Need three stars in 3D. There you go. And there you go. And that's fine, it's normal, cool. That's 12. 12 people on the 3D research team. All right, and they are gonna go in one, two, third floor. We have the ground floor. We're gonna do it all European style. Make this the ground floor. And then this is floor one. Nah. All right. Okay, good. They'll come into work tomorrow. But now we're gonna take the research 2D, research 97. Apply this to research two. And away we go. There you go. Now we have two research projects. It'll be great. Does this game have, let you have your own hospital or medical center? No, that's got nothing to do with my company. Is that the game music playing in the background or is it from your Spotify? This is the game soundtrack. Yeah. What's in the game? The game doesn't have a persistent soundtrack though. I think it's one of the weaknesses of it. Um, so like if I, if I let the, if I let the song run, then it just won't play another. Um, I have to go into build mode. I, yeah, you basically have to switch modes and then you'll get the music to play again. It's kind of meh, but all right. I want this operating system to be unavoidable. Checking on my research teams. Look at them go. Nothing on the ground floor. Look at them go. Yep, they're hard at work. These guys will be to work tomorrow. And then we have two, uh, we have, how many How many teams? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven research teams, eight, eight research teams at once is what we can have the capacity for. But we can't hire that many people at once. Um, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna start moving people from the regular design teams and start moving them over into these various things. Moving them over into, into, uh, uh, the research teams if they're if they're done designing things right so like we could go into like this we could say design one there's three people in design one that's it um so jesus can i not click anything i want to do design development there so system in 3d so rob jackson right you could go to the 3d team off you go uh, design, 3D, 2D, and network. Awesome. You can go to 2D right now, actually. If you're compatible. You have to be compatible, though. So it's like the research 2, you're not compatible with it. All right, what about 3? Yeah, you're okay on 3. I could put you on 3. And then we can do is we can say 3D, 1997 tech, given to research 3. Good. There we go. And then let's take the 2D design team off of this. There. Okay, now that now that's better. And then design comes off of this one. So research 
research and move this up so I can see it, please. And research three, okay, good. So eventually the suits will have things to do all the time because there'll be so much research coming in that they'll just be able to crank out all this intellectual property we can possibly muster. Researchers don't deserve sunlight, right? They're only artificial sunlight. And then down here is where the lawyers will be. They don't even deserve to be above ground. They're right down here. Yeah. We'll have a big old lawyer room right down here. Say it's like, uh, probably like this. Need to leave room for the server farm, but I think this is probably big enough for our lawyers. <laughs> there. This is where the law offices will be. And then we'll also put in like, a little walkway through here, right? So they can get through here. <laughs> get in the cave. Lawyers will be down in the caves. Uh, let's get the overhead lighting. Uh, I want the circle one. Do I not have one down here? I'm only using these, I guess. Yep, okay. It's fine, I can find it somewhere. I think. Yeah, right here. Uh, circle lighting. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that enough light? Yeah, seems okay. Probably could use a little bit more, but it's okay. This is all really dimly lit too. Like everything is so dim. Get down in the cave. Uh, like this one's not well lit enough, but if they're gonna be working in here. Like nobody's currently nobody works in the basement, so it's okay. But if people are gonna be working here, I need to have more light. Yeah, so we'll take and move these over a little bit. Yeah, that's good. All right, they got enough light. Yeah, 335 lux. I think that's probably fine. Okay. I've been putting ducks down here. I need a couple of them, but I don't need that many. I actually don't even need a couple. One is fine. Yeah, one appears to be fine. And then we'll just take the... Uh, Give them a couple of pizzas of artwork, you know, to make them feel like we actually care. It's an illusion, but, you know, we need them to think that we care. I'm, I'm actually tempted just to not even paint the walls. You know? What do they need them painted for? So many lawyers. So many lawyers. Okay, so this needs to be moved. There we go. So many lawyers will be down here. <laughs> Don't forget the TV on the wall for the skill boost. We want, do we have to though? Yeah, I mean, they're getting me my patents, right? So like, I guess it's probably a good thing. 
All right, fine. I'll give him. Give him the stupid television. I'll give him a clock too, I guess. They can tell what time it is. Fine. Uh, I'm looking for maybe a little water cooler action. I know that that's just gonna. Uh, you know what? We'll put the water cooler like right here. Nah. Over here. Yeah, out, out in front here like this. It's fine. Uh, I suppose I should probably make more light over here then. If I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, we need the heating. That's what I was looking for earlier. Which, I don't have a fire detector in here either. Or sprinklers. That's needed. Also, we gotta keep a really close eye on our, on our legal team. Make sure they're not slacking. Or leaving the office with any proprietary knowledge. Stuff they shouldn't be leaving the office with. Okay, so it looks like I need a little bit more heat. Okay, that'll take care of that room. Good. Making sure I'm getting heat in all these rooms, actually. I don't have heat in the server room. Aren't the servers enough for you? <laughs> servers should be pumping out a ton of heat already. Uh, do I want to make Centurion? Put Centurion on this side, actually. Yeah. Let's just duplicate these really quick. And then make sure that we select all, deselect these two, connect. And then I want to have Centurion be two more servers, I think. Yeah. All right, seriously. There. Okay, so four servers for Centurion, the rest is Matrix. And it's very easy to tell where they are now. Okay, and then the last thing to do uh, for the server room is to just make it bigger, but I also, yeah, the server room needs to be a little bit bigger. Need is a strong word. Uh, not doesn't need to be bigger, but it's going to be bigger. About here. Yep. And then we'll just kind of delete this row here. And then what we'll do is take this, move these two to be over here, move these two to be over here. Move these two to be over here. There we go. And then we'll have another wall. With a little door. It used to go like this. Fine. All right, good. And then finally, we'll take and put ventilation and heating. And let there be light. And then also some light here, here, here. It's fine. Yeah, like light to guide you across your journey through the tunnels, right? It's all good. I think you pretty much took care of everything, except for the television. I'll do that now, I guess. TV, I don't know. Where do I even put this? On this side, I guess. Whoops. Really? about that? That's not bad. That'll work. New tunnel is big enough to require fire detection. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. 
Okay, we got fire detection and sprinklers. Yep, everywhere. So there's my law offices. The suits, they now work down here. Okay, night suits. Suits. You all work down here now. Congrats. And you, you, lo you lost this room. You kept, you kind of refused to work here, so you lost this room. Okay. So we're gonna replace the teams in these rooms. Um, I think we're gonna have another marketing team, right? So right now this is marketing and they got nothing to do. What? What? You, what? How do you have nothing to do? Ah, the suits are doing this. Get to work. I could probably get some marketing deals, I think, here. <laughs> Let's see about getting a couple marketing deals. We can definitely afford it. Except, uh, except, and... Accept, and then I'm also gonna put Apple Studio 9, which is music software. I'm gonna give that to the suits. Go. All right. You all have things to do now. Off you go. I will say you could not pay me enough to work in these offices. You could say that. Then I give you a $300,000 car and tell you that all you need to do is oversee the team and not actually work. So, are you hired? Oh yeah, the research teams are going at it, man. Started all the things. It doesn't look like I have any competition for it yet, so that's good. I just love watching like everybody walking around outside and stuff. It's super cool. Copper Spikes has died! What? What happened? Copper Spikes has died! Ugh. Man, dead. <laughs> Thurman Klein, AKA Copper Spikes, dead. I paid out $50,000 in death insurance to his family. $50,000. Terminations. project were you overseeing? What, what project were you overseeing? I need to replace you. <laughs> Switch teams. You're, you were in dev one. Okay. Uh, dev one. I don't think you were overseeing dev one. Also, Dev2 apparently doesn't have any leaders. Have to do something about that. It doesn't really matter, does it? All right, you're promoted. You're the team leader now. You are captain now. All right, well. <sighs> Sorry, Copper Spikes. Oh, he was in real? Oh. 
He was the leader of real. The real engine leader? He was. Like there's no there's no there's no team lead. Uh oh, real team. Real team. You need a new leader. There's a plenty of actually good candidates here. I'm looking for somebody who's... Yeah, I, I kind of want you to have... I think we'll go here. Reba Kelly. You're promoted. Have fun with that. Marketing has no leader? That can't be possible. What happened to Katie? Caitlin should be the leader for this. What happened? Get on it. Marketing two, good. First person shooter team has a leader. Dev teams has a leader. You know, I can look at this easier by just going like this, I think. So HR, right? So dev two, to set up HR management for you, which right now is just like, I don't know, 100,000 is your budget and you can handle this stuff. That's fine. You can't handle anything else. You're not good enough for it yet. Uh, dev three, HR management will go into like, See a hundred thousand dollar budget there. Handle this stuff. Uh, we can go into education. Up to level three is fine, but only do one at a time. And that's good. You don't have. You don't actually have this though, so not yet. I think though, if I just set it anyway, you won't do it. But like once you level up, then you will. I think. Marketing two, same thing. Uh, let's get you to level three. Two people at a time is a lot on this team. That's fine. You can handle all this stuff, and I want your budget at 100000 There you go. Uh, okay, everything's good. Night suits. I don't know if they have a team leader, do they? Meeting leader needs three. Okay, so they have a leader. They just don't have level three specialization. That's fine. Uh, I'll take two people at a time on this. That's fine. And the budget for the lawyers, let's go up to 150,000 for you. And uh, suits down here, no, HR, go to 150K. Yeah, you're already over 150K, aren't you? Let's go 250K? I guess I need more real, I need more night suits, I guess. I don't have them handling the hiring, so. Like, I, I'm going to handle hiring myself here, I think. I want to make sure compatibility and all that. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it'll do it for me automatically, but... Uh, sim team will go 150,000. Up to level 3, one at a time, though. That's good. So I've almost got all of this HR shoving stuff taken care of. Almost. That two happen at once there. Wait, why didn't that happen? What? Leader needs th level three specialization for meetings, but like, you should still have HR. I just set it up. Just set that up. Status disabled. Yeah. Do you not have a leader? I just gave you. Didn't I just give you a leader? I just promoted somebody. Maybe you don't have the you don't have the chops for it. Oh, you literally have no HR stars. Okay, you're a leader with that doesn't have HR stars. Fine. And then the real engine here needs a, a leader now, doesn't it? So uh, it's gonna be Reba. Reba is the new leader here. There you go, Reba Kelly. Wow. One death. <laughs> you have you have a death counter for <laughs> uh, I really want to play the games you're making. My my system would scream with Char OS. Look at this. This update's 83% done. We're bringing up bring it out. It's good. Uh we can put the extra dev teams on this to, to accelerate it. No, they have porting to do. Forget that. No, there's a reason the OS team has nothing to do right now, right? And that's... The OS team has nothing to do because they're handling bugs and stuff, right? So the OS designers should be doing something too. What can we do? 
can we make uh you can't really do like a i guess you have to do a sequel right so we would make a sequel for it i suppose um yeah os2 make, makes sense uh depending on this yeah centurion and then the teams on this would be os and the development teams on this would be the os uh huh and Mordecai Silvermoon still there uh narrowing down your creativity 71 to 81 percent isn't that's too, too bad right isn't that like inspiring isn't that considered considered inspiring I mean yeah in, inspiring creativity it's not bad we've sold 42,000 copies already um so if this is the case then we would want to use our existing scam framework the existing scam framework, which is honestly really old. We should make a new one because it's too old. So we will make a new one and we will call it scam uh, 2.0. There you go. Of all the latest and greatest stuff. There you go. Uh, okay, so we are going to need, I think, uh, if I was to choose everything, it doesn't work, right? Can I add video into this now? HDR video support in 1997. Yeah, right. Microphone surveillance. <laughs> Listen in on your users' conversations to find and fix bugs before they're reported at the risk of getting caught. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, we could do speech recognition and surround sound, though. That seems like a pretty cool thing. Uh, 3D rendering is in there. Yep. Latest in tech levels all around. Well, at least 95, anyway. If I wait for a... No, I don't... Eh. Should I wait? I could wait just a little bit. I mean, I'm already updating Char OS to this year. So, like, I'd be releasing this on par with the existing operating system. That doesn't seem worth it. Three years? That doesn't seem worth it. It makes more sense, I think, for the uh, the OS design team to be focusing on designing something else. You know, like I could get them into another type of program to design. Like they could design the 3D editor. Of course, they don't have any 3D skills. They're all really good at system and 2D though. So they could design the development environment. Provides a set of tools, for software development in a single application. System in 2D with network skills. That's their, that's their wheelhouse, baby, right there. Heck yeah, let's do this. OS team will take the design. Um, they can take the development here too, I think. That's fine, yeah. And then we just like click all the boxes. Does that give me a lot of waste? Yeah, it does. It does. Three years for that, a lot of waste. But like, it's so advanced, you know? It's so advanced, so very, very advanced. Wiretap, please play my favorites. Wiretap, ah, the development tools, NSAOS. You know what, this is our NSA dev environment. Uh, NSA dev suite. Yeah, this is our NSA dev suite. I like this. It'll be based on the... Oh, there you go. Based on the Snowden framework. I'm just taking the ideas from you guys. Uh, I don't think we need all these features, of course. So let's maybe take away visual pro programming. That's not important. Um, search boxes? Who needs them? Honestly, we don't need any of that shit. Uh, let's see. Uh, debugger is probably a good thing. Compiler is kind of essential. Multiple programming languages. Pfft. You need that. You need that for. That's lame. Code profiler. Intelligent code completion. Let the computer guess what you're going to type. Sometimes it guesses correctly. <laughs> no. Code profilers. Uh, device simulators. Nah. Plugin support, live error detection. Uh, now you don't have to wait until build time to learn how bad you're at programming. 
<laughs> no cloud sync. Although that could be kind of cool. It really increases the bandwidth, so I'm going to pass. Um, and then simultaneous collaborations, probably not that essential, although that also reduces the bandwidth. That's cool. And then uh, let's take, I think this is like version control system would probably be a cool thing to have. Simultaneous. I, I think I'm good here with just this. I'm good with just this. And the 69% waste, but that's that's okay. Unless unless unclicking one box brings this down to a year. I want to have network stuff though. Database integrations. Is there anything here that is like especially heavy and could bring it down? Version control system seems to be a big waste. Yeah, it looks like the version control system is the biggest waste here. So we'll take that down. Okay, so two years. Two years. It's it's fine. Maybe no plugin support yet. I don't know. Like I, I don't want to waste a ton of time, so now it's about a year. Live error detection. We'll let we'll them do this for two years. It's fine. So uh this will be what we design. We'll have the live error detection and put in here. And the NSA dev suite. It's going to be priced at $69.99. That'll screw up the accounting. The accounting department's going to love me now. Obviously, we want to add support for CharOS, so that's going to be in there. And that seems kind of it, right? Uh, 2D editor, we're obviously going to be using ours. Hello, Flatnoid 2. Not compatible with tech levels. We'll see about that. So, so it's a 1991 tech levels. I need to upgrade Flatnoid then, don't I? Flatnoid 2. Make update to 95, 94. OS can do this too on Centurion. We'll put the dev teams on this for rapid deployment. Go. All right. So we're still going to make it. We're still going to have this uh, be based on this, though. All right. And then we just move this around till we have less waste. We paid for your funeral. Sorry, Copper Spikes. It happened. I'm, I'm afraid it happened. I'm sorry. There is nothing I could do about it. You just died. It wasn't even my fault. You just... No, he just died. <laughs> uh, good. So now the OS team has something else they can do, right? Now we're making Flatnoid 3 already, right? Uh... But we're going to bring Flatnoid 2 up to current standards just so we can base it, uh, this, this development environment we're using here. All right, we're going to dismiss this notification. Copper Spikes, rest in peace. I am sorry. Rest in peace, Copper Spikes. Our late night marketing department. So what is this room going to be used for now? Do we want to have like a 3D? Oh, wait, we should probably hire some more if we can. Are there any more designers available? Uh, no. No, there are not. Okay, so we'll wait until the following day. Or the following month. And boom. Okay, let's go ahead and see who's available now. Medium first, in case we can fill it up. That's good. Uh, we actually already have enough people, but um, I guess I just went for one more. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we'll grab you. Yeah. That's So research three is going to be researching 3D. We have 2D and we have system. And then I want to get going on some network stuff. Looks like these guys are starting to patent stuff, so that's that's
that's fine. Um, maybe even hardware. Hardware is so generic. Is this like, and the royalty is really bad, but hardware is like in everything though. Like every single physical product involves hardware in some way, right? Like console sales, computer sales, robot stuff. Like, I don't know. Like it feels like that's just this generic all encompassing thing. I don't know about hiring and effects, but I feel like hardware might be the next thing I look at. Charcraft better be a Minecraft ripoff. Uh, no, it's Starcraft ripoff. It's an RTS. I don't remember what kind of game Charcraft is. Yeah, it's, it's based on Starcraft. Sorry, Bluesy. You must construct additional pylons. Freaking, I, I, I love that game. It's just, I'm terrible at it, but I love it. Eight people turned in sick today. That's great. Burglars are trying to loot my premises. That's also great. They won't be able to do it because the police are coming. Wee 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 wee. Did you seriously just? Oh, those are flashing brake lights. Okay, so where's the cops? Where are the police? What? 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 But they were... What? Where are the police? Where the hell did the cops go? <laughs> like, they just vanished. They were here and then they're gone. And it's just like, they got away. I think they're getting away. Why do the cops do this? They're getting away. No, they're driving away with my stuff. The burglars went home empty-handed. Okay. Sure. I don't know what the hell just happened, but all right. <laughs> At least they didn't steal anything. Super weird, man. Ah, all right. So, uh, one, two, three teams. Should get some people up here today, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, this building's hopping now, huh? And whenever they want to break... Oh, there's no bathrooms in here. We should probably put some bathrooms on this floor. Okay, we're going to put bathrooms on the ground floor. That seems like a fair... That's fair. <laughs> not what I wanted for the shape of this thing. Just saying. Not what I was looking at. Try again. Totally not the right thing I wanted, but I mean, I wanted like a hexagon kind of thing. Like this is good. One, two, three, four, five. I wanted it like that and it's not letting me do it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe it can be just be like this then. I guess I can go really small on the grid. Just won't. Why? <laughs> Why? This is what I want now. You so sucky. I start from this side instead. How's that? It's just a simple wall, man. Just build it. Just build it. Oh my. Can I? Can I? No, not allowed to touch that wall. <sighs> you could go straight across and then separate it into stalls. Well, I mean, I didn't want to, but that might be the, that might be the answer. I didn't want to do that. I kind of wanted to do something creative, you know? Just wanted to be silly and, and creative and fun. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So, all right then. That's going to be my bathroom then. Meh. Doesn't look nearly as intimidating and wide open anymore. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. You let me go straight out. If I move this light. And I guess these vents. Will you let me go straight from here? Why? I'm not, I'm not even allowed to start a room. Why? It makes no sense. No, you don't make any sense. Now I'm allowed to? I wasn't allowed to and now I am. So weird. Come on. Why? It's just like sometimes I'm gonna work, sometimes I'm not. What you gonna do about it? I don't know. I just wanted to do something different. Now I can. Thank you for allowing me to do it. Finally. Jesus, this whole time all I wanted was a nice curved wall. <laughs> okay, the you. Come back over here. You're there now. You, you're there now. And you, you're over here now. Good. All right. Now, we do door, door. This will mimic what a men's room, women's room situation would look like. Okay. Door and door. Okay. Now, will you allow me? You will not. You will. Sometimes you will. Sometimes you won't. <laughs> I don't know what the heck this thing is doing, man. Um, I'm also not allowed to go really... Eh, maybe I can. Hang on. If I go like this, can I, can I move you to here? Well, aren't you just special? Aren't you just the bee's knees? Uh-uh. 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 
okay. Um, look, this this is my compromise. Okay. <laughs> is it special? Yeah, it's it's kind of special at this point, but fine, whatever. Two bathrooms. They can love it. All right. They can love it or they can hate it. I don't care anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I thought I liked it, but I don't. I don't like it. But see, it's not centered, which I care. I don't know why. I just do. Tell you what, let's try this. Let's try, let's try this instead. Instead of this, we'll say this door goes away. And this door goes away. All right, we'll do a. Di I'll just have to do a different strategy with this. So, um, what we'll do is we'll have a door. I want it, I want two bathrooms on each side, so a total of four. So I want to have like say a wall that goes this way, or eh, I guess that could work too. Stop it. Okay. Good enough so far. No, it's not. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Good enough. Freaking care anymore. Uh -uh. Good enough. Now please, please for the love of all things, allow me to go from this straight. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good with this. This is fine. Everything's fine. It just needs to be different, all right? I just want it to be different, you know? Unique. Make it a different shape. Make it something they haven't seen before, you know? Okay. So, this is what we're doing. Then, in this part here, we will go... Or I won't, because it's a curved wall, so you can't do that. Nah. You know what? It's just gonna be one single thing then. Yep, it's fine. One single thing, no big deal. Door, 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 door. Good? Good, all right. Then, Set up the wall lights in each one of these places because we can, we have to, they need lighting. There we go. Okay, and then we need a sink, probably. I actually wonder, if I just put the sinks out here, will they use them? Prevent the spread of germs across your, and that would otherwise increase sick days across your company. I'm curious if I do I have to put the sink in here or can I put them out here? People will just use them, right? Because that's that's what I'm kind of thinking is like let people use them out here. So now I'm thinking like if I just do this, right? They're totally lined up because why wouldn't they be? Right? If I just do this instead, right? They'll just use, they'll go in here, they'll use the bathroom, and they'll come out, and they'll use the sinks, right? Maybe, uh, I, yeah, I don't know, hopefully. They hopefully will. But that looks pretty interesting, it's, it's different. You know, no more square rooms. The research department is all about being awesome, right? They're all about just being really Awesome. See, that actually looks kind of nice too. You can play that. It's not lined up, but you can try to ignore that if you're able to. I know I am. I'm totally able to. Uh, the light there and there because we can. 
Uh, and then we just like load this place up with some decorations, man. Big old plant right here. Oh yeah, another one right here. Heck yeah. Another tiny, you can put smaller plants. Maybe like uh, a little portrait on the wall there and uh, something that inspires, inspires creativity like this. Little scissor claws action. Good. Yep. Yep. And then uh, obviously we need smoke detectors everywhere because this game will probably yell at me if I don't. So look, you got yourself smoke detectors. You can relax. I don't think this is necessary, but you know what? I had a fire, so I'm paranoid now. Here you go. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, what else? vending machine in this area to put that down in here I guess little vending machine over in the corner like that my my internet hiccup that looks so good doesn't it it finally worked I want like a little one though like a little plant this one a little floor plant um, in the corner yeah right there and then right that and like that oh yeah see bathrooms my employees now have bathrooms just curved edges everywhere man we just needed it it all works out hopefully it will, they'll actually use them oh somebody's gonna come and use it I just know it oh yay uh I wanted to test to make sure they use the sink. Yay! We can also then shame everyone because if they exit the bathroom and they don't go this way first, then we can say shame, shame. We know not to touch that person, not to go near that person. <laughs> it works. Four bathrooms, three sinks. They don't spend much time at the sink, so I think that actually works out okay. Oh yeah, good. All right, solve the problem. Now if they gotta go to the bathroom, they can go downstairs. There's two elevators. They can take the elevator, or they can wherever they want to do. And then do we need showers? Don't forget coffee machine. And. Probably could use some more light out here, too. Let's reset the grid and go down on one more size. Keep things on the same grid that we were building on before. Char OS, the update is done. We brought it up to current, current standards for technology. All right, now we'll bring up the, we'll work on the network stuff. Um, work on audio, yeah, networking features. Video can get cranked up and so does 3D. So now we can just crank up the rest of these technologies and just get them up to date, right? And then again, we just let the OS take care of it. Go. Good. Good. Get you, uh, print job for you and print job for you. Yep. To get the stink clouds and have to take a shower. Uh, what? What happened to all the other showers? They're all down here. All the showers are underground. The showers here, here, this big row of showers right here. And then all the underground areas are connected. So people can go down and get a shower wherever they want. And then as the server room gets bigger, maybe it goes this way a bit more. Uh, we can connect it over here too. And yeah. Matrix is bigger now, too.
Uh, Char watched this bug fix and bring this back up to the top. Okay. Um, I think so. We're, we're working on the NSA dev suite, right? That's the new thing that the, uh, the OS team is working on. It's our NSA dev suite. It's a government contract. We can't tell you more about it. Ancient wise men say... He who go to sleep with itchy crack, wake with sticky fingers. Stinky fingers. What? You're so weird, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're just... I just started reading that, and I didn't know where it was going until I got there. After I got there, I, I regretted reading it out loud. <laughs> Did the other buildings have bathrooms as well? Yeah. Um, there's one here. And then also on every single floor of this building. And then over here we have a bathroom there. And again on, well, at least there was one on every floor of this building. This one's missing a toilet somehow. It's a bit of an important oversight. Uh, but then every floor of this building as well. Yep. And then over here in the big gaming room, there are two bathrooms here. And that exists on every floor except the first floor. First floor, there's no bathroom, so you have to go up to the second one here. Um, but you get two floors, two of them here, then here, and here, and here. Right? So every floor has their own bathrooms. And then over here, we just have four on the ground floor instead of uh, being in every single floor. So ultimately, every building is a little bit different, right? Just a little bit different. And I, I, I like that. I like how it's not cookie cutter. There's no templates, paste. Right? I mean, there is a little bit going on in this office here, but um, pretty much all the other places to work. Pretty much. Um, do we have any more designers for our... Let's make a new team, actually. Another research team, right? We want to go and research... Uh, we could go hardware. We could go hardware. It seems like it's in everything, you know? I feel like every product that we make that has hardware... If we start generating like new consoles, for example, new phones, for example, I feel like all of that is going to need hardware tech, hardware designs, and then we can patent all the hardware and just have royalties for every phone and every computer and every console. It seems broken, but I mean, that's what the game's done. So I, I think that's probably the next, uh, I think that's probably the next thing to do. So we'll make another team. We'll call it Research 4. I know I'm very original my naming scheme and research for we're going to get one really awesome designer who is great with hardware let's say so we want this to be for research four so there's no compatibility problems here research four we go and we just kind of want to go down the list and obviously i'd like him to have other skills too so i could potentially transfer him up to help with something else but i'd like them not to have a whole lot of demands this guy on the other hand is likely very creative here and he's got good operating system experience so this could be as much as i like mordecai silvermoon who is good um but mordecai silvermoon's range is like right here and this guy's high end is like way up here so Maybe, maybe. He's also considered detached. Not affected by team compatibility. Oh, that's convenient. Both of you are detached. But you want a non-binding contract. And more money. You both want a lot of money. Fixed rate and stuff. Eh, I don't know. This guy's got audio experience too. You know what? Tell you what, let's hire... We'll hire the... Guy, console. We're gonna make a console actually. Not great on creativity. But you don't have to be the lead. All right, we'll grab you, and then everybody else is not compatible with you. Perfect. So perfect. Okay. Uh, research four. Okay. Focus on hardware, please. Go. It's all normal. Okay, the guy I hired, not good. We're going to fire him. 
right away. Before he even starts his shift. I just want people who are compatible with you. He's disconnected, so he doesn't care about team compatibility, is what he said, right? So I guess what we could do, this is interesting. What we could do is we take him away. Come on now, where is he? We put him on core for now. Okay. Then we go back to hire employees. We can go to high again. Oh, we don't need this, yep. Uh, we then go in and get a different guy. Maybe another disconnected guy or something. This guy, yep. He's got a good hardware experience. We put you on research for. Everyone's bad, very bad, blah, 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 blah. My God. Make them good with research for. Okay, so, okay, so there's just no way for us to get a good grasp on this for the research teams, I guess, but... Uh, you know, like if we have lots of detached people, right? And that's actually really helpful. So Harper team is just going to be really detached. They're just not going to care about other human beings. They're very robotic. You could, you could even say that they are robots themselves, which is why they know hardware so well. This guy says bad even, but, um, oh, this guy's not detached though. Okay, fine. Uh, go back to high, select team, research four. Yeah, like obviously their compatibility is too low because they're all detached. This guy's detached as well. I love this though. Doesn't care about team compatibility. It's so convenient. You're hired. <laughs> uh, anyone else want to be detached? No? Okay, go get the guy that's in core. You. Put you back in research four, which has terribly low compatibility, and yet they don't care. And there we go. Okay, research four, good. Okay, so who wants to be the leader of your team? Loretta Brock, or now the team leader, congrats. Okay, that works out well. <laughs> Minority report team, huh? One, two, three, four. This is now research four. You guys are going to be researching hardware 1997. Seems good. Put you in research four. Seems good. There's only six of you. Luckily, only six is required. Well, how do you do? All the detached people. Like anyone else want to be detached? Pause it. Search again. I'd like to get this quicker, please. Uh, we're gonna go hardware. Yep. Let's go medium, and we can't do compatibility anyway. Go. Okay. Find the detached people. There's one. Geez, they see it once, and all of a sudden it's everywhere. Detached. Research four. You're hired. Anyone else? Uh, no more, re no more, uh, detached people, but honestly, I think that's fine. We have, we have eight people, right? Is it eight or seven? Right? Yeah. Seven people, but all of them are detached. None of them, they're not really compatible with each other, but they don't care. I don't know how that happens, but it does. And, uh, good. So now we will also be researching 1997 hardware as well. We're going all in on like intellectual property and patent trolling. Flatnoid 2 upgraded. Perfect. You could always bring back Copper Spikes 2.0. I literally could, but it needs to be a different name. Because like Copper Spikes, we can't just replace you with the same exact name, okay? Got to have a different name. So you're a programmer, huh? Hardware programming. Because that'll that'll be important on the OS team. Uh huh. Dude, this person's really good. 
Their design skills are actually pretty top notch here. I'm gonna move you off the. I gotta get you off of the heart research team later and get you onto another team, you know? So, they're worth quite a bit now. Um, our, our stock is down, like our shares are down 18% since our investment started. They're not really releasing great stuff. They just keep releasing the same RAM over and over again, you know? I don't know. I like this guy though, he's really awesome. Not quite a visionary though, I need 95% for visionary, but down 18%, eh. Let's, uh, eh, we'll average down our shares here. See what we get here. Little DCA, see what happens. Copper Spikes Jr. Copper Spikes Jr. Okay, so he's, he's his son following in his dad's footsteps. Do we know how old Copper Spikes was? We don't have that many complaints. 50 people say there's nothing to do regularly, but that's just because I don't manage my people very well, which is, you know, as you can imagine, I've already received that criticism on the internet. And I uh, also don't care. Don't care. Don't. You know why I don't care? This is fine with me. Doesn't need to be 30. Doesn't need to be 40. This is fine with me. Here you go. I'm just taking like every print job I can. Char OS updated again, so the tech is looking solid now. Um, it's all updated with the latest and greatest. All you have to do is to fix bugs now, which is like nothing. So we'll just leave that as a permanent thing where we find a bug, we'll go to, to fix it, right? So I'll leave this on here. As the bugs get found, they'll immediately get uh, fixed, right? Like three out of three, right, right away. And then we'll just release incremental updates as we find them. They're just getting like immediately fixed, which is cool. Some employees are unhappy with their job. I can't imagine why. All right, is it, is it the wallpaper? Is the wallpaper depressing you? Do you need a hug? You're just working down here in the dark in your cubicle. With my, with my, my, my stapler, mine. It's my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the building on fire. Uh, okay, so we can fix the, we can fix your complaint. We could. Uh, I don't really feel like it, but we could. By giving you a new color floor, of course. Aw, oh, look at this, come on. Look at this color, of this, 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 this paper color, wallpaper color. Doesn't this cheer you up? Look at waves. Oh, it's like you're in a... Oh, don't you feel like you're on the ocean? Just feel like you're on the beach, you know? I know what you're thinking now. But it's... But I don't feel the wind in my hair. I know, I know. Which is why I'm introducing... Wind! <laughs> no? Just noise, right? Okay. All right, I'll give you something to do. Fine. Uh, we will give you... I mean, once the research is done, you got all sorts of things to do. Uh, but that's not done yet. So until it is, I will let you do the marketing for these guys. Okay. And you know what? You can also handle the marketing for these guys. All right. You all have things to do now. Have fun. Enjoy your day in the basement. Isn't 1997 hardware already being patented by another company? So it's just a waste of time researching it. 
No? Not if I beat them. You can only research something at the start of the year. So, like, they had to have started maybe at most a month before me. So this is tech level 96? Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna get patents on 96. Whoa, look at, okay, hang on. So this, maybe it's this. 97, Q4 97. So if I could beat them, I might be able to beat them. Hardware patenting doesn't actually seem like it's very, very hard to do. Like this is progressing faster than most, most of the other researches are. So you might be right on that. Like they might've got like a month head, head start, but uh, I might as well try it out. Otherwise the hardware, t this research team is gonna be sitting there doing nothing anyway. I probably put the OS on project management and then tell them to wait like two years or something between iterations. I could design the next operating system, but I, eh, I don't know. We're supporting this one really well. That would be the best way to get money, I suppose. If I was interested in money. You're on what team? Dev three? You need to be really good at multitasking. Because Dev three does a lot of multitasking stuff. And you are on the real engine team. I want you, let's start working on 3D actually. Chris Everett, how are you? No, actually, you did see it right, Paul. You, uh, there is one. You definitely saw it. You need cleaners? I have like 10 of them. They come in all over the time. But I did just add this building. So I should probably add like two more. Because this is new since I last had cleaners. So maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cleaners. I have twelve of them. Let's see about getting another research team before the end of the day. Maybe I can get a couple more people on hardware and speed that up. Maybe. Detached, detached, hired, and hired. Oh, the detached people. They're my new favorite people. Research five, adding new research five team. Now we're gonna look for people who are, go back in here. Yeah, let's go and look for people. I, I don't know what's going on with this. You're 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 killing me, Smalls. Uh, we can go to video. Oh, well, maybe audio. We could try audio tech now too. Yeah, let's let's get an audio team. So system, two D, three D, hardware, audio, and then video. I guess after that, video is I think less less of a factor. Maybe not. It's okay, audio team, uh, go. So this will be for research five. Let's see if I can get them compatible with like one or something. Okay, so some people are like somewhat agreeable, which I might be able to make that work. So if I can get somebody who is, I said audio, why is everybody getting different? You're killing me, what the heck? Audio. Audio, oh, you're, but you're not maxing out audio skills. This guy gets it. All right, so we'll put you on research five. No, research five and hired. 
Okay. You're good, but you're exclusive. So pass. You're not four star. You're not three stars. So no for you, too. Research five. Go. Just normal. Good. Yeah, this, I don't think you're paying attention to my criteria here, game. I see a great. You have more skills. We'll go like this. Uh, there we go. That's fine. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, good and good. And you could start dipping a little bit into other stuff now, I guess. Uh, these guys all have good hardware skills. Maybe I should put you on four instead. Bad, very bad. Okay, never mind. Uh, good. Eh, this is probably okay to start the day. Also, I'll have new candidates tomorrow, so that's fine. So this will be for five. So one, two, three, four, four, five. You will be for five. Pass through. Good. Okie dokie. And put the research audio. Anyone going for 97? Nobody. 97 audio. Time to go this. 97X. Bam. The future of rock and roll. Charlie's criteria of the one dollar an hour and five stars in everything at age at age eighteen. You need to be as unique as an individual mushroom found in the Congo. Something I don't know. You need to be a flower, right in the Goldilocks zone. This thing keeps telling me people are unhappy in their job. They just need to grow up, okay? Just grow up. We all do things we don't like to do, okay? Oh, I'm back to 95, 95% on the uh, dominance for my digital distribution platform, taking tons of profits. Beep, 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 beep. I don't think I need to print any more epic DLC stuff here. We'll bring this down to, let's say, 25,000. Char OS is going to keep selling. So we're going to keep going. Uh, Flatnoid 2, probably good here. Based on that number, I think we're probably pretty good to bring this down to like 20, 20K. We sold 10,000 copies of Scissor Claws. I feel like this game is, is it's aged a bit. It can keep the supply a little lower. Uh, cool Man Fight is still kicking ass. Absolutely destroying the competition. I actually need to increase this number. 120,000. Is anyone offering to buy him anymore? They stopped coming by. They've, I think they've given up. I mean, maybe I got a little too aggressive with the 40 million requirements. Just a little bit aggressive. Boo -doo -doo. Uh, this is doing okay too. We're replenishing that stock pretty well too. Yeah, I think we could probably stop printing Desperation. I can make another version of it maybe, but I'm gonna stop printing Desperation. We'll keep 15,000, that's about it. What game would be comparable to Cool Man Fight? What did we say it was? It was like some sort of... Um... What did we say Cool Man Fight was like? If I, I guess I would go with like a Call of Duty sort of thing. But like less Call of Duty-ish. Like, what Call of Duty could have been instead of what it ended up being. You know, like, um... <laughs> I guess not Not what it could have been. It's probably it's probably worse than Call of Duty, because Coleman Fight doesn't even have multiplayer. <laughs> so... Like, this is, this, is the, this is the early 90s, okay? 
<laughs> the early 90s, we didn't really have multiplayer as much. It wasn't a big deal. Not until internet became, you know, good enough. Now I feel like putting another one of these on the other side, but having it like not be bathrooms, but be something else. Just to even out the room, you know? Because it looks cool. I'm not sure what to make it though. What do I make it? I don't know. Let's uh let's do some review stuff for Flatnoid here. Well, I'll source a review to get a rating for what Flatnoid 3 is like. I need to do the peer review thing. I haven't I haven't done that yet in a while. Go ahead and fix this. Also bring 3D up to up to snuff and network skills. There we go. Update that. There we go. Uh accept. And I think that's probably good. We're giving the 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 suits. We're giving them some marketing experience. All right, cool man fight. We're gonna make sure that's the biggest priority for porting, and then we gotta port uh, real engine to Charos as well. We're getting all these because nobody wants nobody wants Charos if they can't play cool man fight. So we're gonna porting those over. Pretty much everything is getting ported over to Charos. We're still fixing bugs in this too. You no, know? we're still finding them. There, it's an operating system. It's very big, very big deal. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get the hardware patent because even if we were to finish the research, we would want to patent it and then like we miss out on the system patent too. So we're gonna need more lawyers. This law room needs to be much bigger, unfortunately. Yes. I'm not gonna give them a proper office. That's not that's not what we're doing. No, of course not. <laughs> no, of course not. No, no, we're not gonna give a proper office. We're gonna just make this room bigger. And that's that's it. That's all we do. <laughs> just make the room bigger. And that's what we're all about here. We'll do it like this. with the lights, floor lights. One, two, one, two, three, four, light. 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 Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, honestly, we can have two separate law rooms. That's fine. Two separate law rooms is good enough for me. We'll just go kind of like this. Uh, eh, you could just do a solid door. It's fine. Cool. And we'll take all these desks. We'll duplicate. And we'll come over here and paste. Genius. Ah, it works so well. More television screens, just to give them a reference of the outside world. It's a small reference, but it's there. You don't have to look that hard. <laughs> oh, I love this. Doing this to lawyers brings me 
he he loves lawyers. I know. They're the best, aren't they? <laughs> They're the best. That's why I provide them with their own secluded, away from everyone else, private. All right, this is this is another way of saying this would be that it is an exclusive area all to themselves. All right, we're talking like this is super privileged stuff here. Very privileged. All right, I think we got pretty much everything there. Uh, lighting wise, maybe we, I don't know. Probably need to do something with lights. Yeah, something like that. And then we just take this. Something like this. Huh? And then like. Something like that, you know? Yeah. And then like this. And then uh, I suppose I need the fire detectors and stuff, right, still. Oh, and we need to make sure that the, uh, you know, the, the lawyers here, law and swimming. This room, law and swimming, go. Fantastic, okay, cool. Two separate law offices, oh, they're so, they're like seriously exclusive area in my establishment. They could not possibly be happier. Not enough heating for winter nights. They don't need it. They're lawyers. They're forged from the fires of bullshit. <laughs> Just allow their bullshit to keep them warm, okay? Okay. So I think we're we're good to go here. Some of you out there watching this are probably lawyers and you're like super offended right now. In which I will say, you know what, sue me. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I, honestly, I bet lawyers are probably some of the most like... I, I would have to be believe that lawyers are probably some of the most hard-skinned people there are. When it comes to like, you know, taking personal offense to things. Like, it's it's got to be one of those things where like you know already, right? Like you just know, you're you you're going into this career fully prepared for such for such criticisms. <laughs> you just have to know. As many people have, have been saying since like the dawn of time, the term blood sucking lawyers. Like, as many people that have said that, I would feel like you're probably you're probably ready to rock. So there's my subterranean office diagram. I think this works well. And the cool thing is by connecting all the buildings together like this, right? The utilities on one building will support the other building, which is why I won't have any solar panels uh, and I won't have any, uh, I'm not gonna have any of this stuff. All the stuff that's on these other rooftops, this is not gonna have it. I kind of want to see if I could do a rooftop. If you'll let me do a roof. But I, I guess you have to have floor above right don't you have to have like what is up with all this what is going on here i don't know how to read this you know everything is invalid and i oh invalid roof i don't know how to read this can i just do auto like can we just I don't know. We make this happen automatically. I was kind of hoping to do this. Yeah, I really don't know how this tool works. Um, I'm going to say, can I just have it be at the edges? I just want like a dome roof kind of thing, like a, a rounded domed roof. But this thing is, everything I do is invalid. 
What if I just remove all of the... Oh, there it goes. Well, shoot. Okay. Cool. That's better. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, this is this will work. Um, can I just have... Yep, just the cent simple central point. Very good. I don't need anything fancy. Good. Right in the center. That's, uh, is it good enough in the center? Put you... Make the grid smaller. Is that the center? Kind of more like here, right? Gosh, I feel like it's... I feel like it's this square, but not like the edge of the square, but like the square itself. Yeah, something like that. I feel like that's the center. Right? So if I wanted to do the roof, how would I make it go up? Straighten points, align. If I finish the roof, like, what's it gonna do? You know? How do I get it to look different? Like, how do I judge what it looks like? Can I determine what it looks like? Or is it just gonna be this brown? I don't want this brown to be the thing. You think it's off center? Now I, now I definitely see it. It's definitely off center, yeah, you're right. If I rotate a little bit, I can see it. Is that better? I feel like there's just no way to quite get it on the center. Is it that one? It's pretty dang close. I just don't want it to be brown. Use the slider. No, for the color, not the slope and stuff. I'm looking for the color. Like, I want that, but I don't want uh, brown. How do I alter the brown? What does a line and straighten do? I clicked them. Um, straighten points along a line or align points of roof ed to roof edges, which is what I've already done. Right click. For what? Why would I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I right click? How do I make a new point? Uh, add. Shift add. There, okay, I have a point now. That's gotta be the center, right? It's off, it's just not quite. Why do I care? Why do I care about this? You might be asking yourself, why does he care about it at the center? I don't! I don't, I no longer do. I just want it to not be brown. How do I get it to not be brown? Paint it. There's no, it's interior, exterior, and floor. I don't see an option for the roof. If I finish roof, oh, there it goes. I have to finish it first and then I can do this. Okay, good. Um, so I can now make it uh, a different color. Fantastic. Belt. Actually, I'm kind of okay with that, to be honest. <laughs> Just this dome. It's a dome. All right, I'm good with that. I can, I can live with that. That's good. So should we start the new version of the operating system? We have we have the research thing like well underway now, so like somebody's gonna do this in 1999. Yeah, right. No, you're not. Nobody's competing with me on this one. At least it doesn't say they are. Hardware doesn't say anything if anybody is, but we saw before that somebody was. Uh, 3D. I am the only one doing 97. 2D. These guys will be done Q3 of 98. I think I can beat them. 
Um, hardware is the only one I'm actually thinking I probably can't win. Because it's Q4 of this year, and this hardware team is not going fast enough. I could get some of the designers. Yeah, this guy right here. You are gonna get some 3D. Or I could shift you. We're gonna beat we're gonna beat this. I'm gonna ship Frederico Gates. Frederico Gates, you're gonna be moved to the hardware team. And you're gonna hate it. Unfortunately, you're gonna hate it because. Because uh, it's not compatible. Compatibility is terrible. Yeah. I really don't want you to move someplace you're gonna hate. Never mind. Whatever. Hmm. RTS. I. 2D is good. Time to add more hardware peeps in crunch time. I mean, I've been looking for more hardware people. Um, it's just not, uh, I don't know what's going on. I, I can't, thank you. Four, right, especially. Somehow you managed to be good compatible. Okay. The hardware team, I guess. Um, yeah, you're normal. That's fine. Uh, anyone who's not like a terrible, probably fine. Unfazed. Isn't very emotionally affected by anything. Oh, 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 you will be. <laughs> you say that now, but just wait. I'll stick you down with the lawyers. <laughs> they, they keep saying they hate their job. Uh, normal's fine. Go. Okay, we have a lot more hardware people now. I just put them all on five, didn't I? That would be why. Okay. Okay. Four, 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 four. You. Oh, good. Can I just fire you before you're even in, you know, he didn't come in yet. So sorry, your position is no longer available. God damn it. Is this decreasing employee morale by having me fire all these people? This person's not even for hardware. This person is, it's these three now. But you guys are not emotionally unfazed by anything, so hopefully you guys don't care about being moved. We'll see how emotionally unfazed you are. They say they're not they're not phased by emotional stuff, so we'll put that to the test. You're all in four now. Okay. Hardware. Yeah. Alright, so you're not very compatible with your teammates. Uh we'll see if that causes a problem, you know? Whoopsie. Yep. Whoopsie indeed. Medium hardware go. Change this to four immediately. Awesome. And very bad and bad, bad, bad. Yeah, I know. But if we can have some people that are potentially unfazed, no. Works fast at one task, but fails at multitasking. I'd love you to be on this team, but I just can't do it. Maybe we have a secondary Maybe we have a like an auxiliary research team that has a like you know ideally you would have like 50 people on one research team that just happen to be good at everything, right? That'd be the most ideal. I 
I don't see the results of the outsource. How do I get the results of that? Peer review. There it is. There it is. Oh gosh, this is sitting here forever. <laughs> 150 reviews of Edward Scissorclaws back in the day. We never saw how good people, how, how much people loved it. Now we know. All right, so Flatnoid. So it seems you could get a little bit of work on the networking. Network code, a little bit down. Creativity, not the best. Okay. Pause alpha work to improve the design of your software to increase potential and quality of the product. How does that work? Iterating. Okay. So they're gonna ba they're gonna go based on feedback and they're gonna they're gonna start up again all by themselves or how does that work? Guess we'll find out. You know, honestly. This is how we do this. This is how we do this. This is how we do this. Research for night. This is how we do this. They can all be compatible together. <laughs> And not be with the disconnected daytime shift people. They said they're not emotionally affected by anything. So I think maybe we just put those people on the night shift too. You know, we could do it. Hardware, you're good at it. Yeah, I don't know how good you are at like getting along with others, but you're hired. All right. So we got normal people, a couple of good ones. Okay, good hardware, great, take it. Good compatibility, you're not three stars though, unfortunately. Hi. Hi, hardware compatibility with Fortnite, and go. Okay, good, good, and good. You're good here, and you, three stars, awesome, good. You want to be exclusive, so you're not gonna help me on anything. Bye. This is how we do this. One, two, three, four. Night shift. You are also here. You can work in here. Research for. Very good. All right. So now we can have around the clock research. Reiterate it. Reiterate it. I don't know what you mean. It says iterating. How do I do that? How do we do that? It says iterating, so I think it's already doing it, isn't it? Because it says iterating, not needs iteration. Is there like a design? Is there like a design? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's right underneath it. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Here it is. <laughs> okay, good. Did you set the shift for the night research team? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. You coming in at six? Six o p six p m. Mm -hmm. And leaving at four p m. Uh, and then you're leaving at two a m. It's a long one. It's a long shift. Right, so uh, you will take your vacations in January and you will like it. <laughs> you will take yours. You said you're not emotionally phased. So the your vacation is not on not, not this. You get to take it in November. Uh and that way you can spend time with th for Thanksgiving, but you must miss Christmas. So there you go. Real team. July is fine for you. Research scrubs uh September. And uh Honestly, the research teams should always take their breaks at the end of the year, I think, because they should really, I want them to work the whole period to get that done so we can patent it and then they can take their break, right? So, um, like really the research teams will take their breaks all the same months and stuff, like way in the, at the near the end of the year kind of thing. Um, we'll say November here. 
Research one. You're the system team. See, it's April 97. So you got, it's slow, right? So it doesn't really matter how long you do yours, but I'll have you take it in, yeah, November with like everybody else, okay. And then we need like three more legal teams. Um, we have a legal team that works here and then a night shift. So we'll need another, uh, we'll see suits two and then night suits two. And then there'll be just be a lot of suits, but I'm not gonna do that until we're like ch chugging away at patents and then, then I'll do that. Otherwise it's like just extra marketing people that aren't marketing anything. Real engine people. Oh. 3D? 3D. You can go back to design. Yeah, so you're able to reiterate the design. It looks like if you do the, the peer review process, if you review it and you get your feedback, then you can go back to design and amend it, which is kind of cool. I didn't know that either. I just found that out. So good stuff. You know, I think I'm gonna cut my losses on this. Bye. Down 11%. I don't like them. I don't like them. Hmm. We're not down very much on these guys. And I, I wanted to buy a, a hardware company, but now I'm thinking I'll just like everything in house kind of thing, you know? I feel like I could design really good hardware and take positive market share away from these guys uh, without spending what's like 50,000, 50 million dollars. I don't know what it is 24, 28. 31, 33 and a half, uh, almost 34. Almost $35 million here. Could I design good, great, ordinary, great, you know, good, inspiring, whatever, like they don't really have that many sales either. And in fact, their profits are actually pretty bad on most of these things though. I, I don't know. I'm just going to sell it. I don't, I don't like stocks in this game. You know, I don't, I don't like stocks in this game. There's not enough for somebody like me. Who's, you know, really into stocks in real life. I, I want information. I want to know what the heck they're doing. And I don't see what they're doing. Temperature regulation is overburdened. Saw it coming a mile away. That's why I have another one right here. Ready to install. Did you know that the guys are here already? Ready to go, ready to install it. You can actually pull another one over here. Uh, right there, there you go. Happy now? No, apparently not. Unable to reach the gas boiler. Make sure nothing's in the way. <laughs> Better? Hopefully. Put a sprinkler over by it. Speaking of which, I didn't do that for this room, did I? Uh, do I need it for this one? It's, you know what, better safe than sorry. I don't, I don't care. I should probably put some lights in here too. People can see where they're going. Good. Uh, let's actually make these these floor lights. Yeah, I go all the way over there. That's good. And then make this light go. So it's like a walking path sort of light. It helps people know where to go, man.
Yeah. Something like that. Seems cool. Hey, good. You only need fire detection if it's 10 squares. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You guys are still designing this game? The next Edward Scissorclaws? If you didn't know, we're, we're making uh, another Edward Scissorclaws. This team just keeps going with it, you know? Da, da, da. We're still in the design phase for all these games. So, like, the des like the developer team, people who are unhappy with their job, right? There's people, there's people who complain and they're not happy with their jobs and, uh, you know, there's nothing to do. This is going to get worked out, right? Because when these games shift to development, the teams behind these games start working on other games, right? They start designing other games. So this is the RTS team, right? So like once Havana Knights shifts off design and goes to development, the RTS will start designing Charcraft, right? And then the first person shooter game, we've got uh, Cool Man Fight, Pancaked, right? That's great. Once that shifts and graduates to development, we'll have them design another first-person shooter, right? And same thing with a sim simulation game. So, like, they'll always have something to do eventually. I just got to get them rolling on it. I think the 300% is taking the time from two years to six years. That's fine. It'll be good, though. Fixed the bugs. Oh, we are supporting Char OS so well. So much support. Char OS. But now I think it's time to maybe start thinking about designing a new Char OS. Right? So these guys are designing the NSA Dev Suite. That's the OS team. When they are done doing that, they will start to design the next OS. And then the development team of the OS will stop supporting the bugs and they'll start developing this. And then I can have them go back and forth with this. So OS will do the dev the dev environment in between OS releases. So nobody's gonna be wasting their time. Everything is awesome, okay. Oh, they're back. They haven't given up. They're back. Now they're offering me 37.8 million. They're trying to negotiate with me. So, uh, nope. You better come up with 40 million before this game is done. Because uh, once this starts development, that's it, all right? Once I start developing this, Cool man fight, off the market, okay? $40 million. Oh, I gotta, gotta say that I'll probably make more than 40 million with the second version of the game, so. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't sell it after all. We're getting, it's very, very designed now, you know? Real Engine 3D research team. Hi, your research one. So your system researchers, I can have you jump in on maybe the 3D at some point. That's fine. So Real Engine team has also started their design as well. Uh, so I can probably just have like these um, these ones that are under project management. Could probably just have them chill near the bottom here, right? We don't really need to support Real Engine anymore either. Not really. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to start selling even more Cool Men Fight because we just ported it to new operating systems. Uh, we'll get, let's say, ESC ported. Speed that one up, and we'll speed up Flatnoid. I don't think Dev Dev 2 is working on this. Oh, we don't have a design team for this anymore. Yeah, there's only two designers. Um, let's send this. This is Flatnoid System in 2D. You know what? Let's send this to the operating system. We'll have the OS team work on iteration. Yeah, now it's immediate. Yeah, there's nobody working there anymore because I moved them into other teams. That's, uh, that's cool. 
But now OS can reiterate that really quick. Kind of getting really fast, actually. It's nice. Use OS team to help with porting because that should get more users on the OS. I will. They're they're busy. Wait, no, they're not. That's the. Oh right, yeah, yeah. They're they're. This is the design. These guys are just doing the operating. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Desperation. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Send that to the OS too. Okay, so we'll let the, we, we'll, we'll let them work on porting that too. Does that's that's stuff they they can work on right in the meantime, right? While we're working on iteration stuff and trying to get new teams settled. Stop. I want audio people, right? Isn't it for audio people? Uh, for our new research team. Our, our night team, we want our night team. Research for night. I don't think we're going to hit this. It's going to take too long to patent this. I don't think this is going to happen. We should probably give up 97 and just... Uh, let me see. I should just bust ass on 97 is what I should do. Yeah, go on now. Let's, let's just... Let's beat him. Let's just, let's just beat him. I need more people on research four night, and I could use a few more on research four, but that one's really hard to match. So we'll try research four night instead. And uh, yeah, we're looking for hardware here. Hardware. Good is good. Hardware, go and go. And then I think we'll just hit anyone who's actually willing to actually you know do things. Normal's fine. Uh, normal's fine and normal is fine. And then let's also go and get some medium salary people. Same thing, although it may not work now because I did normals. And it doesn't work anymore. Damn. Uh, go. So we got good with hardware. Excellent. Uh, a bunch of normals here, which is fine. One, two, three four, five, that makes 15 people total for hardware. I feel like that's good enough. And they'll work the night shift. So we should have people on this floor overnight. It says they're not doing anything, which is bull. Why are you snoozing? Why are you not doing anything? Research for night. Are you, oh shit. <laughs> do this oh no uh, I just wasted a whole month with, with only one team working on this that's not good that was a whole month guys granted it was only four people in that month but still it was like a whole month man All right, so we end the iteration. It gets taken back, but now we're gonna, you know, go even better on this. And I feel like for the 2D editor, we could honestly have, we could honestly maybe put the OS on this too, but that's too many programmers. Yeah, like we're almost good here with Dev 2. And I almost wanna reshift it to Dev 1 now because Dev 1 has, that extra person? No, they don't. No, they don't. Uh, yes, uh, this is 10. 10's not too many, is it? And they don't all work at the same time either, so one's a day and one's night. I think. Which one of those dev teams is nighttime? You guys come in at 8 a.m. You're the 4 p.m. shift. So 2. 2 is the nighttime shift. Yeah, so you're you're alternating, which is pretty good. But I think I could also get away with this. Because they're one's day and one's night. So we could have people doing things at the same time. And let me just, like, pop the, the 
the priority on that now too. Yeah, we can handle every print job that they throw at us right now, so. Every single print job, we're just gonna take it. I'm not gonna bother with marketing. Eh, give it to the lawyers. Yeah, give it to the lawyers. And uh, actually, our other marketing team probably could use something to do. We can give them a some, somewhat more challenging task. That's an operating system. I don't want to market for that. So these are both rejected. I'm not marketing any any operating system. Uh, dev environment work that competes with us. Uh, we can do movies. That's fine. Movie. And motherboards, operating systems. That's fine. We we have enough we have enough jobs now. I actually think that yeah, the Charos marketing should be the biggest priority, but these other jobs, we could just again give it to the suits. And then I need to hire some more suits too. So why don't I get another team called uh there's night suits and then there's there's suits and night suits. So we can go suits two and also uh night suits. Two. I don't know. Uh, I guess night suits two will work the night shift, right? So we have night suits that go from five to twelve. Night suits two will work from let's say seven to two. Fair. Okay, and then we'll start hiring for them too. So we'll want service. We'll want law. We'll want the secondary role can just be doesn't matter nothing uh hi and we're looking for uh oh we already had the specialization okay so um what we're looking for is the night it'd actually be nice to have people who are compatible with suits too but just so i could shuffle them potentially but mm, doesn't look like it We'll have to find someone who's just compatible with this guy. Three-star law and great. Okay, you. Born leader, absolutely. Heidi Dominguez. I want people who are compatible with you. So we'll have another law person here. And then you're awesome too, actually. Um, I don't think you're gonna be my lawyer, but I don't think you're gonna be my leader. I don't know, you're both the same, so. Uh, yeah, you're okay too. Cool. That's good for suits, right? I guess good is anything that's good, I suppose can work. Um, and then we can filter it by suits too. To get these things in alphabetical order one day. They already are. I'm just, there's the suits and then there's suits and it's, I need to change it. All right. So these are both just normal now. Which might be okay to just have the two normals. That may not be half bad. I can hire them. So, and then they will work. They're working night shifts. Suits 2 will work nights. No. No, Suits 2 works here. Yes. Suits 2 works here. As well as night suits 2. You both work in this room. Okay. That works for me. And then we have a water cooler out here, but I think to give these guys just a little bit more range, um, just a little bit better, I don't know, happiness maybe. Um, we'll put some coffee machines. We'll put one here and here, and also over here. We'll have uh, the vending machines there and there. Yep. And then coffee machines will go there and there all that late night coffee they need you know we could do the same thing i suppose in this room or just have a, a a single coffee machine in these rooms why are you not doing anything you're done system is done finish it all the suits are now doing that suits yeah good you're done good then you can start 97 because you are slow so you're starting 97 now
Where? One. All right, so now Suits needs to do that. They probably shouldn't have all these marketing contracts anymore, you know? That's why I need an extra marketing team. The two marketing teams I have isn't enough. That's what's gonna go in this building. These two floors will both be marketing teams now. We still have that extra dev team. The, the two, you know, dev one, two, and three are still in this building too. Um, and then this floor is em is vacant now, so I could turn this into maybe another support room or uh, just another marketing room, honestly. like, But these two floors are really not used much anymore. So I think, um, like, offline, because we only have, like, another 50 minutes left in the stream today, I think offline what I'm going to do is try to restructure these two buildings, and then on Tuesday, I'll walk you through sort of what the plan is for this building, because... I've sort of moved on and, and shifted the teams to their dedicated positions and brand new structures. And there's not a whole lot going on in this building anymore. Um, it does kind of look like it could be an old style law firm sort of marketing building, but I think it's mostly gonna be marketing. We'll have probably three teams of marketers. Yeah, I think three teams of marketers going at any point in time. Um, so we'll probably be three daytime and three nighttime. A total of six six teams of marketing. Probably anywhere between eight and ten per team. Um, maybe even go as far as twelve, uh, because we have a lot of products, right? We have like any like eventually we'll have like a dozen games out at one time. The operating system, the engine, the development environment. Like we'll have to market everything. So uh, this whole building, I think, is probably going to end up being marketing. Um, and then the support team. Uh, well, that'll be over here. It'll be a new building for support. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably good. I think this is a nice building for marketing. It has just like a an old style, it's got a much older style to it, and I like the I like how that looks. With that older style. Um, this is dedicated to our operating system and development apart development environments. All of the games, anything that's related to gaming in any way is going to be in this building. That includes hardware design. Um, and then the research is here. Then we'll talk about our uh, other types of hardware development. Um, so we'll have a support building, marketing building. And then the third, the fifth building that's over here uh, will be... Um, fifth building will be support. Sixth building, to complete our controller, will be a building that is dedicated to teams that are for like phone designs, uh, operating systems that are related to our, our mobile platforms, stuff like that, right? We'll, we'll focus entirely on our mobile platforms over here. And then there might be one floor that's dedicated to like the robotics stuff. I don't know if we're gonna go into robotics all that much, but um, and we can always shift it around. That's sort of how we're gonna, that's how we're gonna lay that out. It's good. We still have no expenses at all. We are still at this moment producing all the power we need to have uh, completely free power, which is great, uh, despite all the printing going on. That is still the case, even with all the even with all the stuff hap happening. Very good. And uh, yeah, and this isn't even, we're not even producing hardware yet. That's again, the second floor, possibly third floor of this building is gonna be all about producing those hardware products that we'll be designing later too. So there's, there's a plan to here for this space. I'm just not done yet. I haven't designed it yet, um, so I probably will play around with this space. The support building doesn't have to be very big. <laughs> Working in the basement sucks. Aw, should I give them another place to work? <laughs> uh, I could put them in the mark. I could put them in the law building. I could. I could be nice and put them in the law building. <laughs> There's 25 people that have that complaint. Hmm. Aw, poor suits. <laughs> they don't like working in the basement. Aw, oh, man. Took my stapler. Yeah. We're going to need you to come in on Sunday, too. In the basement. That'd be great. Is there just not enough light in here? There's 400 locks. There's plenty of light. Yeah, 400 in this one, 388, close enough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. 
do this print job too. Seems like we're gonna have, I feel uncomfortable with my team. Research four, right? Where you're the, the team is just, yeah. I mean, this is the team that's a dis dysfunctional team. You know, I could, I could throw you on research one because you have good system, right? I could do that if you'd like. Does that, does that work for you? If I moved you to another, to another team that was like, um, let me ignore this request, but also, um, I'm going to shift you. Do you get along with research one? Yeah, you do. I'll put you there instead. You can go out, you can go to with research one then because system is still a really important thing. Move this to the top. There we go. And then I should be able to see my patent progress too. Right here. Okay. Huh. Poor lawyers. <laughs> Put them in a deeper floor underground. <sighs> I know. The place is filthy. I mean, there's so much traffic through here. That regardless of having a dozen cleaning people, four on four on the premises at any given time, they just can't keep it clean because this is such a high traffic zone right here. I could maybe make it easier if I made another door or something, but I'd have to have a person just hanging out right here. You know, maybe I put the room to be, I don't know, put a cleaning room right here. Can I do like a cleaning break room or something right here? I don't think you can do that. Like a dedicated break room for just cleaning. Hmm. I could put a coffee machine right down here too. These guys could probably like a coffee machine. Put it over by the stairs, though. Yeah. Coffee machine here. We'll put two of them. Hmm. That doesn't look. That doesn't look good. This is better. Yeah. Put it over here, and then we'll just kind of go <laughs> like that. Cool. Everyone happy now? I'll get more cleaning staff, I guess. So many more cleaning people now, so hopefully it works out, okay? This looks good. I probably need more maintenance people too. I'm gonna hire actually one more maintenance person. Come in at eight. And then, should we need more caterers? If this is my exclusive food court, right? Like, I feel like I should have more tables. They can also go out and eat here. They just choose not to half the time. And then we'll have more stuff over here, then another building, and then another building. Actually, the building will probably go right here, and then another one right over here on the corner. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. June 97. Taking their sweet time. This needs to be 10 suits. And I think we're gonna go, I don't need crunch for this one. I need crunch for the hardware. I need crunch for the hardware. Four day and night, day and night, right here. You're on crunch time now. Enjoy that. Get her done. If you rotate with the alt key, you can place whatever you'd like. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's uh, Alt. Nope. Not alt. Not control. Not alt. 
Negative. Uh, mm, no. No, afraid. Afraid not on the angles. Nope. Not working. Because either half the time it's raining or snowing. I provide an indoor area to eat right here. Would you like me to place another one over here? I got another one right here. Alack Expanse has offered Dino Master a lucrative employment offer. Do you want to counter their offer for $737,000? What? I mean, I like you here, man. You're, I mean, uh, you know, this dramatic snob. <laughs> I mean, I like the guy. 91%, 737,000. That's a one-time thing, right? Like, I give you almost a million dollars and you stay. This is a trap. <laughs> this is a trap, dude. I know this is a trap. This is absolutely a trap. Because he's still got that nine binding contract. So, like, he'll just take another offer shortly after I gave him this one. Fine, I matched it. Stupid snob. Stay with me. They'll just try to recruit him again. Yeah, this time for a million. And I'll be like, dude, I already gave you this much, and now what? I'll play it off like it was my plan all along. You know? It goes like, dude, I knew it, that if I just if I just went with it, that they would offer you more. So I'm just helping you. I was trying to up the bar. They were being cheap with you. They were being cheap. Now, now you get better stuff. Casper, you want some you want some training? Let's get uh let's get three stars on the system. And uh RTS designer going uh all out on the 2D to design here too. We have a night research team. I don't see them working. Oh, they just went home. Okay. Uh suits. You're gonna have to be doing a lot more patents. I need I need more suits. Suits too. Uh, tell me about suits too. How many people? Zero. Okay, suits two is where we're at now. Uh, law, good. Suits two. Begin looking. Apparently, suits two has people. Oh no, I need night suits. I think night suits too. Well, we still need more people on this team, so... Uh, good, 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 good. I mean, you guys are all good, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, Suits 2, you're doing really good. Um, let's go with Night Suits, because I think... Yeah, those are there's zero in that team. Night Suits 2 is zero, so... Try to find that. We'll say Night Suits 2. And we're just gonna find someone who's unfazed emotionally by anything. It's a lawyer. All of these guys are born leaders because they're lawyers. One, uh, two, three, four, five. Uh, we can go. We can do some normal. That's cool. Boom and boom. Okay. Night suits two is in now as well. They can work down in the basement. Everyone's working in the basement. I might give them... I, I think what I might do is make this building a little bit taller. Or, or I will purchase a building right here 
and I could put the law office right here. And that'll be like a separate building for lawyers. And then we just have like all the lawyers be over here with the parking lot extension. Like this, this parking garage could just get extended a little bit. Cause I think we're actually getting to the point where we're about to fill it up. They filed a complaint. Who did? Who did? Who did? Who files complaints? Huh? Can you just handle your internal disputes? Hmm. Night suits. Two doesn't have HR. Let's fix that. We'll go with uh, 200k as your. Yeah, this this good. Uh huh. Go to level three. Uh, two at a time. One at a time. Uh, no hiring for you. Okay. Then they just need a leader. I can help with that. Night suits too. Let's find night suits too. Okay. So I want uh, auto rolls high. And then who's going to be my leader? R Paula Zimmerman. Oh, Goodwin. Uh, Bern Bernardo, Bernardo Harris. Bernardo Harris is the winner. Nope. Had it right the first time. There you go. Do your HR stuff. Handle the complaints. I don't want to hear them. Okay. You just tell them to suck it up. That's all you have to do is just, just say, excuse me. Um, you have a complaint, file it with HR. You know? You did? Oh. Well, I am HR? Okay. Which one of you guys are good leaders? Okay, so not a whole lot of not a whole lot of leadership going on over here. Uh we'll take uh Fabian because I like your name. That's the only reason. It's just because I like your name. And then research three will set up HR management for you too. Let's go 150,000 and yep, all the way to level three. Two at a time is fine. Go. Okay. I saw him on the, in the break room talking to a painting while pouring coffee in his, on his hand. Benny's, wait, Bernie is insane. Wait, what? Are, are you just, are you just role playing this now, Dark Dragon? Hey, Danny boy. Uh, I should have counted for like a cent more. No, I matched it. I, I got to keep him because I matched his offer. At least I believe that's how it worked. Otherwise, what's the point of matching it? Uh, we just had a marketing deal end because they got bought. That doesn't hurt my reputation, so good. All right, two people are unhappy with their job. Why? Working in the basement sucks. Okay. And uh, for you, researcher, just like a team member. Just like a team member. You don't seem to have a whole lot of problems. Uh, is there anything I can do to like make you happier inside the research facility? You know, like if I can maybe add some artwork to the walls, you know, something that boosts your happiness. Mood bump. Good mood. Mood. All right. You want some pictures? We can up your mood. That's how. This is how video games work, right? Isn't this how video games work? I remember this. All right, I remember this being how video games work. People are unhappy. You just put items in the room that give a mood bump. And that makes them all, you know, they all start to love you again. Maybe even learn to love each other. Isn't this how it works in real life? You have a problem at work. They just, all of a sudden they put up nice pictures of plants and not even plants, just nice pictures of plants. And all of a sudden you're just like, oh, you know what? This is actually not so bad after all. It's an okay place to work. They don't give me benefits, but they give me pictures of plants. That's just as good. Hey, okay, y'all can uh, have a good time now in the research office. Everyone love this? 
We're all loving the research, right? Yes, everyone's doing fabulous work. All right, good. Glad, glad that you're happy now. Mood bumps for plants too, right? GG, everyone likes plants. Yep, plants on both sides of the stairs. Plants on both sides. There's another floor. Got a lot of floors in this thing. There we go. All right, can you all be happy now? Cool. Hey, uh, lawyers. You guys don't have any pictures or plants. I can fix that. I got, I got what you need. I'm all about it, about it, right here. See, aren't you all happy now? But wait, there's more. I'll even give you a clock. Now you know what time it is. Crazy, I know. Uh, don't say I never did anything for you. Plants, floor plants, those make you happy, don't they? Make everyone happy. Oh man, everyone can love the floor plants now. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I am seriously spoiling you now. This is, this is unbelievable. And they say, things they said about me earlier. You don't, you don't, you don't think they're true, do you? No way, not, not, not even close. Why can't I put you over here? You know what, whatever, it's fine. Are we happier now, huh? Mood bumps. Ah, yes, the premise of extra oxygen. Ah, don't you see? This is the way the world is now. Complaining isn't gonna solve that. Uh, honestly, the suits, we just need you guys to patent faster. Can you guys just, can you guys just patent faster? Cause you might actually miss this. All right, competitor's gonna be 1998. I am certain we're not gonna get the hardware patent now, but we can try. We can always try, I guess. I mean, we've already gone this far. We might as well keep going. We might as well just keep right on going. Look at, I already went this far. I gotta watch that movie again. That is such an amazing film. Just such an amazing film. All right, Flatnoid, uh, let's put it up for a review again. See how they like it this time. Getting it under review. Getting it under review. Print jobs, go. And print job, go. We're like, actually not going to take any marketing jobs anymore. I think we're good. I think we're at the point now where we have enough. Um, we have enough products on the market that we should just be focusing on our own, right? I think that's where we're at on this. I am going to deposit a whole bunch of money in the bonds because I can. There you go. Uh, you know, I probably should just put. I don't. I don't like the stock market. I wish I. I wish I did, but I. I don't. See what we got here. All right, so people are a little bit happier, right? We could iterate again if we want to, right? Let the OS come in and help us iterate it one more time. That's fine. There we go. It's just improving on the feedback from people, right? We really want Flatnoid to just revolutionize, right? It's basically our version of, it's the Photoshop is what it is. It's basically Photoshop in the game. Again, again with your unhappiness. Again, quit bugging me with your unhappiness. Bum, bum, bum. Stock is only good for buying out competitors. Yeah, kind of. And it's it's slow, too. Like, you can't just... Like, if I find a competitor that I want to buy, you can't just buy them, right? They're private. And you can't make them an offer for their whole company. I, I wish they would bring that in. Because right now, you can only buy what they have put on the public market. But in reality... You can you can go in and you can make offers for companies and you know if if it's privately owned you can you can totally do that and and people sell themselves all the time. <laughs> I like how nobody is going after manuscripts. 
Or hi well, I guess somebody's going after hiring. Effects, I suppose, yeah. Architecture, sure. But seriously, hardware. We gotta get this. Q4. Q497, man. Kanina. Kanina? Kanina. They are really, tr they're gonna try hard. Ours is almost done. Our hardware is almost done and done. So now we can finish, push it to the patent team. Stop. Hardware patent. This hardware patent is your main priority. That's your gig, all right? So you're doing this now. That's all you're doing. I don't want you guys doing any marketing anymore. This should never be a thing now. That's our marketing department. They can handle that. Uh, marketing, marketing two, marketing, marketing two, suits. Okay, so you guys don't have any job now. Suits are permanently on patent duty now. They should perm permanently on patents. And, and that's it. That's all you guys are doing now. Um, I might even pause the system patent just so you could rush that hardware patent. Um, and the hardware team could get started on 98, but I can't, you know? So now I just need to take them off of crunch and let them do whatever they want. They're good at hardware. I could put them on hardware design. Should we design something hardware based? I don't have time for that today, but like Tuesday, maybe we can explore, you know, putting a level two on our factory and uh, explore what it's take what it takes for hardware production. And maybe we could design a console. Because these guys are all hardware designers, right? So that's kind of their gig. They let the research teams do all of the designs for stuff that doesn't have multiple projects. Like, there's no reason to have them do... Like, we need the system designers to do the OS. We need the uh, 2D designers to do uh, Flatnoid and help out with other games. We need all, the, all those types of designers to help on the different games because we got tons of them. But for hardware... Once we get the patent, they got nothing to do. So if they can just blitz that, blitz that research, get it, and then they can start on a hardware design or something. Probably fine. You should crunch the suits. I should crunch the suits. I just, I hesitant, I'm hesitant to crunch the suits because uh, they're in the basement. <laughs> they really hate their job already. So to tell them to crunch, I feel like I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get some sort of, don't I get in trouble for this? Let's rename this to Suits Night. That way they're going to appear. Suits Night. I want them to all appear next to each other in the list. I don't want to search for them all the time. Uh, suits to... Uh, suits Night 2. Okay, so I should have them all next to each other now. Yeah. All right, you guys are all crunch time. It's time to go. Get that patent by Q2. Push it. <sighs> Push it. Oh, look at him blitz it. Look at him go. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Oh, that's that's happening. We're absolutely going to get that. It's totally going to happen. Uh, Barger, vacation. Concentrating because there's... Their team is occupying their office. You guys are just all full of complaints. Caitlin O'Donnell, how are you? So much meta you're doing, there should be a hard cap. Uh, you should be able to... Uh, what? You should force to give benefits to maximum happiness. Yeah, I, I have no idea if it's actually helping at all. There might actually be a hard cap. I have no idea. Uh... I mean, they don't because probably be abused. There's a lot of stuff the AI tends to be dumb about and stocks and such in games tend to be one. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just throwing out, I'm just throwing out things I wish. I don't, they probably, if they're way too hard to do, then they're way too hard to do. You know? uh, you're real, 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 real. Yeah, system, might as well max that out. And Gary Garza on the OS development team. 
let's get you a little bit of system experience, shall we? So that seems to be a big one. Yeah. Are we fixing the bugs in the OS? Here, right here. Put this right here so I can see it happen. We have so many projects happening right now. This is kind of nuts. Like it doesn't, it, it may look like it over here. Um, it may look like it to you that it, that we do. And it's true. I'm like this, this collapsing thing is actually pretty helpful. I'm, I'm really glad I forgot who mentioned that, but I'm really glad they did. Cause that's actually quite helpful. Otherwise I'd just be scrolling forever. I think it would suck. So they, these guys should be done. The, the idea, hopefully, is that these teams begin to finish their patents um, right before their break, right? So I could put them all on crunch, really. Yeah, I could put them all on crunch because they're going to have a break. And, like starting in October and stuff, they start having breaks. So I think um, I think all the research teams should go crunch right now. Not four. They don't have anything to do. But they should all go crunch because then they can get that research done before their break and then the suits can take over for the patents. So 3D is going to get just get done now. It's perfect. Yeah, 3D is done. Finish that. And I want to make sure that that's actually happening. Like is are the suits getting are, the, is, are these getting automatically assigned to all suits? Yes, okay, good. Excellent. So yeah, this is number 10 for sure. We can pause this one temporarily. Although 3D, 97 3D, um, Q398. Okay, I think we can I think we can handle that. Yeah, I think we can handle that. <laughs> now my entire project window is nothing but like patents and <laughs> it's nothing but researchers and lawyers now. Uh, push this. We totally have it. Yeah, that's no big deal. Okay. Turn those up, turn those both of those back on too. We absolutely got the hardware button. That was actually really fast. Good job on the crunch. Legal team. Oh, cool man fight IP. They come in and they're like, fine. 40.1 million. Should I sell them cool man fight? I've been saying it this entire time that they could have it for 40 million, but you know, that was three, that was two years ago. All right. Inflation happened. Now I feel like 40 million yesterday, you know, 40 million back then, that's like 50 million now. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. $40 million just for the IP. It's, it's a pretty popular game. I bet I can sell a lot more. Huh? A hundred mil or nothing. <laughs> that was the deal. That was the deal. I've been saying it. Am I a man of my word? Huh? I don't know. Cool man fight. You know, you're worth more than that, Charlie. I know, I know. But I, I mean, I, I kept telling Rack Digital, they keep coming in. I keep 40 million, 40 million. No, no, no. And now, I mean, what, what, what how many people are, are playing this game right now? Cool man fight. Look at this. We have sold. We have 342,000 active users. We have made $112 million of profit on this already. And we've introduced an add on that made additional money, right? But we are also we're also designing a new one, right? We are in the middle of designing the next one, pancaked. <sighs> you are the CEO of a company. What is your word actually worth? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> That email is marked as unread. And they don't, uh, I guess it, it must have gotten, it, was, it must have been spam or something. I Spam filters, they're, I, I don't control them, you know. It's, I don't know what they are. Let's do an, one more one more iteration of flat note here. Now that it's 99.96. See what we got here. So they're still not bugging on the creativity, but they love everything else. So we could do like a really quick iteration here. And then um, we'll push it at that point. Sell it right before the sequel comes out. 
uh, right before. Why would I sell it right before the sequel comes out? Then they own it, right? I think I should sell the sequel. And then we'll just be like, it's not Cool Man Fight. Now it's Crocodile Fight. It just it looks a lot like Cool Man Fight, but instead of it being people, now there are a bunch of crocodiles standing on two legs fighting each other. It's like battle toads, but with crocodiles. Okay. And actually it's it's a FPS, so it's it's really crocodiles with sniper rifles. I mean I don't know. Uh, patent's done. We now own the hardware patent. Done. We own the hardware patent. Neener, neener, neener. And we still have Edward Scissor Claws. We still have ESC. Nobody wants that one, which is odd because it's making us a ton of money. I mean, there we've sold almost 2 million copies of that game. Uh-huh, yeah. And we still have another million customers potential to reach, too. So, I don't know. I mean, we should probably be doing more uh, more marketing on that game, honestly. We should be marketing Edward Scissor Claws a lot more. Is it an extra... We could sell an extra 2 million copies of this thing. Uh, nope, not you. Uh, ESC, this. Expansion pack. Dun, dun, dun. We want all of it. I want the whole world. Give it to me now. Doesn't look like the rest of the world wants the whole thing. All right, fine. We'll 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 tone it down a little, I guess. Jeez, you guys have no you have absolutely no party in you. Fine, right here. Game tool. Obviously our engine. Why else would we do anything else? Uh huh. Deluxe add on for the ESC. This is going to be the sharpening, sharpened, the sharpening DLC for 15 bucks. You too can have sharpening. You can be on the sharpening DLC. Um, so this is for ESC. We're going to give this to the Scissor Claws team, obviously, because this is their baby. That's what I'd like to do anyway. Where are they? There. Uh huh. And the development team will also be them. Scissor Claws, where are you? I can't find them. Their name does start with an E, right? Oh, it's up here now. It's not an E, it's, it's, it's just Scissor Claws, it's not Edward. We, we, we've we omitted the Edward in the name. Uh, It was a marketing thing, I don't know, like, they, they told me, all right? The, people came in, they were wearing suits, they had binders. Okay, they told me that the Edward didn't work, I should cut it. Yeah, you know, I did what I, I just do what I'm told. Okay. Um, expansion pack, start it. Now they are also working on the development of this too, right? ESC two. They're designing ESC two, still. They're about to finish that, and then they'll move to the development stage, and so then they'll have this sharpening deal, this expansion pack. To design as soon as they're done with this because i think they're pretty close to being done designing that but that's a project management thing so yeah and then we'll say charman fight yeah i prefer the turtle idea with that rat thingy as a sensei yeah 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 we could totally do that i think we'll call them uh you know i don't know how old these turtles are turtles live to be a long time so probably like senior citizens right senior Turtle, senior turtle ninjas, senior cedar, senior ninja turtles, yeah. And then they like the radioactive waste, so they're kind of like mutated almost. We could go senior mutant ninja turtles. I think that's probably what we'll do here. And you know. and what like what weapons do they have? Right, like one, one has you know a cane, right? And maybe two canes actually. That'd be actually cool. Like the two canes off his back and just you know out that's good and then um you know one doesn't you know a cane but he he's like a mountain he, he treks the mountains so uh he has a walking stick so it's a little bit longer kind of resembles a bow staff but it's just not quite as cool uh, and then you have uh, uh the other guy he's mutated so much that his teeth 
always grow back. So what he does is he pulls his teeth out, you know, senior, pulls his teeth out and he throws his teeth. And by the time he throws it, the new ones are already ready to go. They can just pull it out again and just go. You know, everybody thinks it's gross and no one wants to fight him. Cause like, who wants to have teeth thrown at them? <laughs> who wants to have teeth? That That's the worst thing ever. I mean, honestly, odd job has nothing on that guy. All right. Throw a hat? Fine. That's that's fine. I'm all right with that. Throw false teeth at me? No. I'm out. Uh, I'm out. No. For that reason, definitely. I'm out. What about Infant Mutant Ninja Turtles, the sequel? Whew! Infants. Uh, I don't have the video. I, I should show you guys this video. Send me the video if you could with uh wow caps lock just shifted on for no reason i'm not yelling at you i swear uh, with uh, i want to show you that video if i if i can get it in time i have to go pretty soon here probably another half an hour but uh <laughs> like the most adorable video ever so it's, it's old too this video is like six years old but it's perfect do you see why this is very dirty? Look at all the people that come in. Coffee in the lobby. Huh? Yep, they're getting their coffee, ready to go. Hmm. A little bit of meal time. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should give them some places to sit over here. What do you think? Do we need places? I think we should make this like a little cafeteria area like this again. It may not look as clean, but I, I feel like they need it, you know? They just need, like, a, a place where they can chill with each other and you know, shoot the shit, if you will. Talk about ideas. All right, let's, like, just give them a place to hang out, you know? See if they even use it. I don't even know if they will. Usage to anyone. Mm-hmm. And this is just, we'll say pass through, but like, it doesn't matter. But if they ever get food or whatever, and they want to come over here and eat, I say we let them, you know, maybe they don't even want to. It doesn't look like they even want to. Oh man. Our research is getting real close to done now. Look at this research. Pretty dang close. 2D. Almost done. Suits, they're not happy with their job just because they they don't want to leave in the base, work in the basement. I just got a raise. Crunch time is stressful. I think if I remove the crunch time, they'll be fine, but I'm not going to do that. But I definitely need the lawyers to work somewhere else. I, it's funny as hell to put them in the basement, and I love that. But if they're just going to keep complaining and it's going to cause them to not get their work done... I need to move them up. So um, this whole area here will, I don't know, we'll turn this into something else. I don't know what this will be. Maybe this can be the cafeteria. Everyone can enter the cafeteria. They come downstairs and you can enter whenever you want, just down in this area. I'll move all these desks and stuff. I'll, I'll probably just add another floor here. This is a pretty easy thing to do. Just add another floor onto this building and just move all the utilities up. And yeah, we could do that. Oh, somebody else also gave me um, an interesting idea here because I wanted lights in my stairs, right? Um, and I wanted to acknowledge this idea because I think it's actually kind of a good one. Um, so what we can do, because um, I wanted lights in here, right? Um, but by putting a light in here, if you guys, you guys might remember this, by putting a light here, I needed to have uh, fire de a fire detector in here too, right? Um, because this is 10 squares and this is a flammable object. So there has to be a fire detector in it, but I can't place it anywhere because the stairs are in the way, the windows are in the way, right? Well, somebody pointed out, and I don't know if this actually works, um, but I'm going to try it just to see if it does, that if I was to instead just go in and put... And again, I don't know if this actually works, but they said if I put one of these in instead, well, this doesn't, doesn't line up. Oh, hang on. 
Now it will. They said that this would fix it. I still think this is a separate room. I don't think this actually works. Um, I feel this is, but by basically by making this be part of this room, right? That was the idea. I don't think that actually works. Um, I'd love to just merge the rooms, if that's even a thing. Um, it does say merge rooms, but I think that's not gonna, like that's gonna take away the walls, right? Um, so one thing I could do is just have no walls, right? It just have it to be the, the, this is open, so there's no walls here. And then that could potentially work to, to put stairs, to put the, the light down, right? Um, but I liked it with walls. I, I, liked, I liked the walls being there. I'm just not, simply not allowed to do this. It has to be closed in. So it won't, it won't allow me to do this. So it was something I was looking at, but again, I, I don't think, I don't think that actually makes it a separate room. Um, I don't make, I don't think that makes it a, uh, a single room, right? This, this archway is still two rooms. So yeah. Why not just have walls? Leave empty spot where the door should be instead of placing a door there. I, I literally just showed you that. Stream delay. <laughs> Stream delayed. Merge room looks fine. I mean, it does, but I, I don't. You know, like if I... Do this all the way down. Right? Like, I don't know if I like that. I kind of liked it being a separate, separate thing. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad. It's just like now you get now we get things like this where you know the vending machine is like sticking out in the open. You know, stuff like that is kind of weird now. Put it by the window, I guess. Move you to here, move you to here. That could kind of work, I guess. That kind of fixes that problem. This one's fine. This one didn't even have one. Probably could add one, but it's right here. Yeah, bookshelf is not against the wall anymore. It's kind of sticking in the middle of nowhere. So I could maybe move that. It doesn't really even need to be in this room, the bookshelf. But I could also, okay, you. Yeah. I mean, it, I guess it could, it could work. I, I don't, I don't know. I guess it could work. All right, we're applying for more patents now. Let's get the research team. They have nothing to do. They're going on vacation anyway, so I don't think crunch time is gonna matter to them. Uh, yeah, system. I don't need you on crunch time anymore. That's, that's a little heavy, I think. We can take the research teams off crunch time now. Lawyers, you stick to it. Although we got the hardware one. That was the one that was really a question mark. Q3, I think we can do that without crunch. Although we have a lot of patents to file now, don't we? See, this is what I mean. Now the lawyers are doing things that they're supposed to be doing all the time. So I, my reason for wanting a dedicated big building for research was because I had this issue where I just hired a bunch of lawyers and it's like they're not doing anything half the time and it's a waste. So I need to, how do I get them to work the way they're supposed to have more research? So there's the solution to that. And I think, I don't know if they'll end up paying for themselves, but legal, $50,000. Stocks, dividends, loans, interests, deals, uh, royalties. That's what it is. So look, I'm, a, I'm making $9.6 million a month in royalties now. You know, 
So like the, this is going to pay for itself. Look at all these guys that are using my patents now and paying me all this money every month just for that. So like, I think eventually these guys start really paying for themselves way more than I've, than I can think of right now, right? I think that, that dome just looks weird, doesn't it? Would it be better if I made it all windows? I can't really do that though, because it's a rounded, it's, it's rounded walls that won't let me. It's <laughs> just like, it looks, it just looks really weird. It kind of reminds me of a farm, you know, like a big go, I don't know, grain silo or something like we're out on a farm. Oh, I don't know if I like it anymore. All right, Flatnoid 3, let's, let's, let's market this. We're gonna say that we're gonna release this in, let's say September next year. 98, September 98. We'll have 11 months to fix all the bugs and everything in it, it'll be fine. Um, we're gonna shift the development teams to this, to, I think I'll push this in bugs. I'll put bugs on this because they have artists in bugs and they can finish that tiny little bit of art right there. All right, good. Uh, and then, let's see. We have to fix the bugs here. Let's upgrade our operating system stuff as well. Get CharOS's update going again. Then we're gonna need to look into creating a new char, a new OS. So I think we should probably start the design process for that new operating system. Now that we're gonna have patents, for our own tech, we're gonna have our own 2D patents, our own system in 97, of our own audio patents. All that stuff is gonna happen and we can incorporate all those patents into our operating system. Speaking of which, just curious, which operating system has the most users? Sloth OS has the most users. Sloth OS has the most users. Sloth Sim. Followed by... I'd like to get... I'm gonna go followed by Bot2. All right, so we're a small fish. Sloth Sim and Bot2 still dominating the market. Picture Pro 2 also still kind of dominating the market here on the 2D editor space, but I'm hoping that changes. And then... Char OS is down here with 408,000, but we are, as far as I can tell, we are the only outstanding operating system. We just don't have the visionary creativity, which to be fair, an operating system doesn't really need visionary creativity. Uh, it needs to be compatible with applications that have visionary creativity. But you know, I guess. It's fine. I think we're... Oh, there's no 2D artist to finish Flatnoid. Uh, okay, you know, I need I need you to put... You, I'll put Scissor Claws on you for now, I guess. Scissor Claws has got a lot going on. We'll put Real on you. They definitely have 2D artists that can finish that. Why are some of your employees unhappy? Because I put them in the basement. What did you think was going to happen when I put them in the basement? Would you like to work in the basement? Would you be happy if I told you that the basement was open for open for you to work in? It's all suits. The lawyers are unhappy because they're working in the basement. They don't like it. They're like, please, please stop having me work in the basement. They're also unhappy because of the stress. I've got them uh, working crunch time right now to file the patents, but I don't really need them to crunch anymore, I don't think. So I think I'm gonna take that off. Maybe they'll be happier if I don't crunch them. Because this, these guys got a year. This won't be done for a year for our competitor. We're gonna beat them easy. Um, same thing with this one. Um, this one too. So they have three of them that we need to beat. Um, and then there's another two on their way too, right? Like. Audio is here. That's going to happen soon. We don't have HR for every team. So 
Bugs should have an HR dude. We should have HR management here. We need a leader on, on Bugs. Bugs team. Bugs team. Do you have anybody that's a decent leader? I mean, decent is subjective. I could get you another programmer that's a good leader from the dev team. Yeah, right here. Oh, that's bluesy. Uh, multitasking. That's huge, actually. That's awesome. But I want somebody with HR skills. So I think I'm going to get somebody with HR skills. Somebody just basic here. Do you have any programming? Oh my God, do you ever? You don't belong on the dev, on, you don't, no. Honestly, you belong on the operating system team, really. I think when I do a video editor, yeah, you're gonna be, I'm gonna make a new team for a video editor and uh, I want, I'm on my own NLE and uh, I think you're definitely gonna lead that team. Dev, dev 2 might just be, yeah, Dev 2 might just end up being the video editing team. We'll see. Yes, if it would be built like a man cave. Well, I've got pretty pictures of flowers um, and by uh, trees. Pretty pictures of trees. Does that work? I'm also isolating them in their own cubicles. Maybe if I let them talk to each other, it would be different. What do you think? Should I get rid of all these spacers? Let's get rid of these and see if that fixes anything. Now I'll just open it right up for them. There. See if they're okay with that. Maybe that'll fix it. This one's over. Got a computer issue over there. Maintenance will probably get on that soon, hopefully. IT. Ooh, do I have any IT people? Oh! <gasps> I have two IT people. So many computers, so little IT. Hire the IT people. Come in here and fix things. Uh, 5 a.m. to 9, 6 to 10. Let's do... Uh, you're in here from 10 to 2. And then you're in here from, let's say, 3 o'clock. 7. That's a pretty good shift. Okay. Four IT people now. Should be good. I have maintenance people, not IT people. Very different. Very different thing, I guess. Surprised one of the computers haven't caught flames yet. I guess they just get to it. I've had two people. I just. Uh, you have furniture that your staff is unable to reach. Outdoor land. What? You're just now complaining about this? Dude, that's, it's been there for like two in-game years. How are you just now complaining about this? These two, okay. I mean, it's uh, you're right. It just seems odd that you're complaining now. Anything else? Good now? I think we're good now. I mean, what's the worst that can happen with, uh, with these guys who are upset at their job, right? They just quit. Okay. I mean, I'll move, I'll move them somewhere else, but in this game, you're very replaceable. I also wish I could select all three and hit go on all three of these, but I can't. I finished these print jobs in like pretty much a month. This one will take a little bit longer, but I pretty much finished all these jobs in a month. They're very easy to finish. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. All right, 
right, audio is basically done. Hopefully, getting very close to done. Uh, is, is it the noise now for the... Oh, it's for you? Really? You're having a hard time concentrating with the noise. I can't move this while I'm... I solved the noise for you. No. Solve the noise. No more noise complaints. Wow, wow, wow. 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 Look at this, fourth iteration on all these games. That's pretty sick. Havana Nights is almost ready. Sharpening DLC, this expansion pack. I think I actually wanna do this. This is still in the design phase. I should, I should kick this in right now. Yeah, I'm gonna sign this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say go. Develop that. We're gonna get the expansion pack going out sooner. I want this, I need the expansion pack out before the next iteration of the game is out. That way people will best buy them, spend the money to get the DLC for the first game. And then three months later go, Oh, what? There's the second game, but I already spent the money on the first, but oh man, the second one's so much cooler. Oh, I gotta buy that one too. And then, no. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, it is four o'clock. I absolutely have to go. We have to get uh, out to a party or whatever. So uh, that's been put off. Last week I had a party potentially, but his uh, kid was six. So we postponed it to this week. So now I'm gonna go have fun with a uh, an old college friend and his kid, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So um, I want to thank you guys for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's been a really good time. I'll plan some stuff out, and uh, we'll get some stuff done for uh, for Tuesday uh, as we go. As we go, so I'll be back live on Tuesday. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy other videos on the channel, and um, I'm going to get some recording and stuff done. Uh, hopefully Sunday night and also all the all day Monday uh, so that I can get videos out for the week. I really need to do that. Um, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that you'll uh, come back next time. It's been fun. Tuesday at noon will be the same thing. Schedule channel on the Discord, Google Calendar in the description, all that stuff. Take